Welcome to the Dice Tower Spring Spectacular, featuring top tens, live plays, contests, and more. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. Welcome to the last and final day of the Spring Spectacular 2022. Ooh, yes. Starting with Thursday. Board Game Breakfast. So, good news mm -hmm. or bad news, depending on if you're procrastinating or not. Yeah. There are only 42 tickets left at Dice Tower East. What? 42? 42. That's, that's the a, answer right there. Was, Get on that. We played a Wits and Wagers game one time. I don't know if you were in that one where the one team guessed 42. For everything. Or some variation oh, on 42. Wasn't that their for team name, too? I don't know. I that's, think that's so. That's because of that book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. No, I know why. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. It's just a book uh, behind oh. it. Oh. Do you read? I know why. Do you read? Do not sir? try to take away my nerd cred. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> What's this book? I've not heard of this. this Douglas Adams. Okay. Hitchhiker. Star Wars. <laughs> oh, you were joking? Star Wars, I the can't tell of sometimes. I know. You're so good at it. Well, uh, uh, Anywho, I'm, I'm, there was a hundred well on Monday. It's going to sell out, yes. so mm -hmm. do Very not quickly. do not wait. And also, lots of cool things coming. Mm -hmm. Lots of cool publishers that we're talking about coming uh, to it. Um, just kind of Upper Deck will be there. Of course, a portal sponsoring the event. I heard Ignacy Trebuchet will be there. Oh, that means cookies will be there. Mm -hmm. That's right. We must bring him an offering of cookies. Yes. Oh, 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 you walk thing. backwards and that's right. Yes, you yes. cannot look Jenny upon his face. You have Flight. a towel in front. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyhow, yeah. So that's at dicetowerease.com, and we stick around. We're here for the rest of today. Yesterday was a long day. Today will not be quite as long, but we still have a lot of cool games, a lot of cool things, and. With Board Game Breakfast, we're starting with a game show today, so Ooh. you get to you can play along at home. But before a game show, let's jump to some contributors. This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you if the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at Bob Marley Unity. Bob Marley Unity plays a lot like Monopoly. You're going to roll the dice, and this will let you either gain a fan from the supply, or if you already have a color that matches that, you can put it on one of your concerts. The other die will tell you how many spaces you will move, and then you will activate the space. If you land on a concert that somebody else owns, you will give them love from your collection and gain a Unity token. When the Unity deck runs out, whoever has the most Unity, also scoring cards for the cause, will be the winner of the game. So you will move around the board, performing concerts of Bob Marley, gaining musicians for extra powers, and hoping to unite the entire world through music. So Bob Marley Unity is going to obviously be built off the backbone of Monopoly, and it's going to attempt to take that familiarity and add something new to it. As you're going around, you're getting the concerts, you're putting the fans on the concerts, you want to attract fans to the concerts in, in, in the colors of the Jamaican flag in order to increase its value so you can get those Unity points as you want. Now, being that it's based on Monopoly, there's a little bit of abstract nature to this, but they do try to get that theme into this, and the IP is driven the Jamaican flag of the color of the fans. You're going to have the different concerts, and you can kind of learn a little bit about it. There is still buying of the properties. There's having kind of the rent, but if you land on a property you can't afford it, then you're just giving up that unity point that you wanted. So it really does kind of encompass his life and his message, and it kind of tells you about the big concerts he had, and you can go back and read about those. So this is squarely going to fall in for fans of Bob Marley. Does the IP and the mechanisms match? Not really, but man, they really try hard to get that IP and the mechanisms in there together because it is dripping, dripping with Bob Marley knowledge and concerts and fans and kudos to him for that. Hello, Proti here, you're Romanian content creator and today I will continue my series where I will talk about a specific part of a game and today we will talk about Raccoon Tycoon. Raccoon Tycoon is a game where you produce uh, different goods and then you try to sell them high because you have a market aspect where which uh, when you play the produce cards you increase different uh, goods prices and when you sell those goods then the prices go down so you have a nice market manipulation in the game then you can construct 
um, towns or cities with those resources or you can auction off uh, railroad companies or you can buy buildings so you see there is uh, the main currency let's say is money where you can auction off railroad um, companies and buy buildings and then you have the part of the resource where you can build towns everything is giving you at the end of the game points so it's an interesting market manipulation auctioning game what I find is interesting that I wanted to discuss about is a specific building that you can buy. That building is uh, this here, the auctioning house. Okay, I hope you can see it. It's not expensive. It's just 15 money, which is not expensive in the game, but it's not cheap either, but it's not expensive. And it's giving you the nice constantly income that every time an auction is held, doesn't matter if you started the auction or another player, you will get from the bank five money which is quite interesting because you can go of course uh, different uh, strategies or maybe more on towns focused or either on auction focused or on building focused and so on and so forth but this uh, building will give you constant income because there will always be auctions during the game and that's why if you can get this uh, building fast or early in the game it will be a constant money creator for you where money is a really important resource in Raccoon Tycoon so that's why I really like and I wanted to mention this building that you can buy in Raccoon Tycoon and this is the auctioning house this is what I wanted to talk to you about Raccoon Tycoon have a nice breakfast everybody welcome to our game show that we have today uh, you're gonna be able to play along at home and you need to play because that's gonna help everyone who's here mm -hmm. um, I have some six polls I'm gonna ask everybody in fact the first poll is in chat right now you can go Ooh. vote on that poll and then um, each of you are going to guess we should say, pl try not to put answers in the chat because we can yeah, see the chat. Can. No, 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 no. I don't care if they put them in chat because the, the straw poll won't be in chat. All right. They, okay. In fact, you could put an answer in and try to mess with you guys. Oh. Okay. I okay. don't like it. <clears throat> All right. I'm definitely looking All at right, the chat. All right. So, I'm going to have six questions, and you're trying to guess the second most. Well, actually, here's the point thing. If you pick the answer that... It, people pick the most. Uh -huh. You give each of the other two players two points. I hate it. Two points. Okay, two. Yeah. Okay. It's if you bad. pick the number one answer, you get five points. Five. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You want the? You mean the number two? Number answer. two answer. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. If you pick the number three answer, you get three points. Right. If you pick the number four answer, you get two points. Uh -huh. If you pick the number five answer, you get one point. But if you pick the number six answer, you give the other two people two points again. So you don't want to pick the most Ooh. or the least. Okay. Yowza. All right. Mm. You're gonna need a bigger number for me, Roy, because we're getting into triple. There we go. <laughs> triple digits are coming here. <laughs> All right. Got it. All right, so here we go. So half these polls are about games, the other half are about, well, we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> no, they're not about food. It's food. not about food this time. It's it. breakfast. It's That's actually going to gonna be my ending score right there. Bacon. <laughs> All right, All right. Which, which of these recently released games do you want to play right now? Okay. I put right now in all capitals. Right oh, now. Like okay. this very moment. So here's the six games I gave people. And you're going first? And I can. Is she going first? He's pointing at me, so I think I'm going first. Yes. Okay. Camille's first, right. second, third, and then you'll okay. go first in question two. All right. Just give up. So here on are this the six. Some no severe disadvantage. You got no chance, buddy. <laughs> well, maybe they'll just pick bad answers, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. All right. So here are the six <laughs> games I gave people Return to Dark Tower. Yes. Dead Reckoning. Yes. Long Shot the Dice Game. Oh, yes. yes. Townsfolk Tussle. Yes. 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 Wonderland's War. Yep. You know it. Planet Unknown. 100%. If I knew what that was. Lazy Susan, Polyomino, baby. I don't know that one. <laughs> I, will I will say it one more time. Return yeah. to Dark Tower, okay. Dead Reckoning, Long Shot the Dice Game, Townsfolk Tussle, Wonderland's War, and Planet Unknown. We currently have 63 votes. So. All right, all right, all right, all right. When are you cutting it off? Like, are you cutting it off at some point? As soon it as you say between... the answer. As soon as you say okay. the answer. I will go with number two. <laughs> I'll take that one too. Uh, can we play like no, that? No, sorry. That's <laughs> Whatever no, no, one's number two, I'll mm. take it. Yeah. I'll take three then. <laughs> if it's, if it's I'll left. I'll go with Townsfolk Tussle. Townsfolk Tussle. Got it. <clears throat> All right, okay. Mike. One more time quickly the list. Oh my gosh. No, no I need the list. I need to go back to the poll because here I need to remember. Return to Dark Tower, Dead Reckoning, Long Shot the Dice Game, Townsfolk okay. Tussle. It's the first two I need to Wonderland's think about. Wonderland's War, Planet Unknown. Return to Dark Tower or Dead Reckoning. It's one of those two, Tom. Mm. Tom, it's one of those two. I'm going to go Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Really? Got it. Mm. You messed up. 
I might have got God. Uh, uh, return, yeah, return to Dark Tower, then. Return to Dark Tower. Those true. were the two. All right. Well, here's. Right. What do you think last place was? <clears throat> Unfortunately, I think Planet it was probably unknown because it's oh, unknown. Maybe yeah, that, or that, that or Longshot, or long shot, which is a shot. great. Game. It is Wonderland's War is Whoa. last place. No one picked that. Oh. Second last for one point. It is Townsfolk Tussle. What? It's also a good game, man. <laughs> wow. You got a point. You didn't give anyone else points. That's, That's point. right. Yeah, you yeah. guys got nothing. Then well, from the fourth from place with two points, Planet Unknown. Wow. Okay. I'm really surprised. In third place with for three points, Dead Reckoning. Oh, three points. I'll okay. take three points, but you're gonna give me another two. <laughs> and then, oh. Yes. With 14 votes in second place, Whoa. five points, return to Dark Tower. What? Long what? shot, the dice game has 21 votes. You Seriously? don't know your audience. Oh, I gotta hey. tell you, we have a brilliant wow. audience because that game is fire. I love, I love, I just played it last week. Yeah, I just Long played it. Long shot, well. the, dice the dice game, game. just the beat out one. Dead Reckoning <laughs> and, and return to, to Dark, Dark Tower. Tower. And Townsend yes. Tussle was and, last? Yeah. That's crazy. No, Wonderland's War was last. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but it was, yeah. Second Actually, last, though. Jeez. I picked the other five games. I'm like, I need a six game. Yeah. I picked Long Shot the Dice Game. That's amazing. But I did say right now. Also, keep in also mind. Also, Shep and Down and you guys both That's reviewed true. it, so it's yeah. very hot. But yeah. we just did the playthrough. Of Dead Reckoning, I and know. so that—that's what. Keep in mind, though, that that game is game fulfilling its its name, right? The Long Shot won. It came in. Oh, All right. terrible, Mike. That, the yeah. Long Shot paid off the odds. Guys, tomorrow. Does he have five <coughs> points? He yeah. has five points. You need to change that. Yeah. Tomorrow I am flying to visit my children. Okay. Who, just to clarify, only one of them's <laughs> married. married. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I'm visiting two married kids, as in my daughter married a guy, and I still consider him both kids. Okay. Um, uh, but my other daughter's there too, so I'm visiting both my daughters and my daughter's husband. Anyhow, I'm flying on an airplane. <laughs> How many so of them are my married, question though? is this. Okay. What's the most annoying thing a fellow passenger can do on a plane? Oh, man. So here are the six things I put. Oh, oh, man. So number one, talk to you the whole time. That's pretty bad. Number two, take the entire armrest. Yes. Ooh. Number three, kick your chair. Ooh. Number four, lean all the way back in front of you. Oh. Number five, smell badly. Number oh. six, Listen to something without using headphones. Oh, <laughs> man. I hate one of these. I all hate right, so every single one of these. I mean, number seven, vomit, then die. Yeah. <laughs> no, the dying I think you can forgive them the dying part. Right. Yeah. I don't think so. Not after they vomited. After all right. that, if you're going to have okay the good uh, sense to expire, do so <laughs> pre vomit. Especially since they right. have vomit bags. One more time, right? I'm Thank not you. repeating these. All right, that's good because i got to go first. Talk to you the whole time. Yeah. Take the whole armrest. Mm -hmm. Kick your chair. Mm hmm. Lean all the way back in front of you, mm -hmm. smell bad, or listen to something without using headphones. These are all terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I um, hate this person because I assume it is one person doing all these things. Yeah. <laughs> Namely, oh, I don't think they could kick Chris. your chair and lean back. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're doing I, some weird karate. I'm pretty sure someone could. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with kicking your chair. All right. These all suck. <laughs> smell bad. It has that another bad smell. Bad. Mine. That was all mine. Right, well, you can't take it now. Well, you don't oh. smell bad. You're fine. Hey, thanks. She said Are it was lying? Her. I don't know. I can't smell you. I'm assuming it's good. Me! <laughs> it's my favorite part of Liar Liar. Liar Liar is the only part you remember, I oh, think. Also. I no, no, no. Pen is I really like Liar Liar. I'm going to go with. Listen without headphones. That's also horrible. I'm it's thinking that might be number I'm one. I'm nervous, but he took All what right. I thought was number one. The thing and is, if someone place talks to you, you just close your eyes and pretend you're asleep. Is actually only getting five votes is talk to you the whole time. Yeah, because you just close your eyes and pretend you're asleep. Yeah. Okay. Then take the entire armrest is the second last. Yeah. That was I mean, all, all on a scale fairly innocuous. in these things, yeah. 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 Right, right. you can just kind of cuddle up, you right. know, in your little yeah. corner. Yeah. Yeah. You in, hit them till they vomit and die. <laughs> right. In right. fourth place is listen to something without using headphones. Wow. Oh, man. So I'm at the of bottom picked, of the list. And then one of you picked the first and number one answer. <gasps> that's probably oh, no. So number that three. one for Camilla, then? Oh, who picked it? Listen to something that happens? I did. Oh, that's one point. Yeah, so two for Camilla. So not necessarily. No one necessarily picked the number one. Sorry. Uh, in third <laughs> place, lean all the way back in front of you. Uh oh. I almost so picked you that. or I picked you the or I got one. Wait, what was your choice? Wait, what was your choice? My choice was uh, kicking the chair. And yours was smell bad. Smelling smelling bad. bad. One I of think, these has 19 I votes. The other good. has kicking, 32 kicking votes. Kicking the chair would like wake yeah, you're, you're up all you're the good, time. You can't you're do good. Anything. I got. I got. Yeah, got I think here. That's... Kicking your chair, 19 votes, five points for Mike. And he gave both Camilla and Mike two points. I love everything about. So our our current score is Z has five, Camilla has four, Mike has ten. Oh, Mike in the double digits. Okay, this is. Yep. 
<coughs> Are you saying this game is broken? I'm saying. I love it. Uh, no, it seems like a nice uh, alpha design. <laughs> you'll, you'll get to a beta eventually. All right, let's go back to games. All right. So this is asking people here. Here's your yeah. chance to shine, Z. Okay, First here shine. we go. Shine. Which of these classic games would you use to introduce like people to the board game, game hobby? <laughs> All right. All right, so we have Catan. On yes. Mars. Ticket to Ride. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, on Mars. <laughs> Carcassonne. Uh -huh. Parks. Uh -huh. Azul. Uh -huh. Pandemic. Uh -huh. So we have Catan, Ticket to Ride, Carcassonne, <laughs> Parks, Azul, Pandemic. What are you like feeling it out? You know, you're, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're getting vibes from the big guys on a plane. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me tell you my life story. <laughs> Why won't you, <laughs> you just vomit and die? <laughs> Would you like to hear about Ticket to Ride today? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, it's me first. I am going to go with Ticket to Ride. Yeah. That's All right. a good one. Catan, Ticket to Ride, Carcassonne, Carcassonne Pandemic. Parks, Pandemic, Azul, Azul, Azul. Oh, I'm gonna go Azul or Parks. I will. S oh, I don't want number one. That is the game, yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So I'll go with number four again. Um, I'll go with Parks. That's. I four. think Z picked number one. I'm gonna go with Carcassonne. No, I think number one is Pandemic. Really? Really? I was thinking maybe Azul. Mm. Just because the Carcassonne. Reach. What are you doing? Are you waiting for the score to change so that I'm I... for a tie to be broken here? Oh! <laughs> uh, come on, someone break this tie. <laughs> oh boy. No, no tie. Okay, well. Um, oh ask boy. Roy. Roy will break it. No, nope, the tie broke. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, number six, Catan. Yeah. Last place, number five. Azul. Parks. Yep. Oh, who's at Parks? I did. Camilla. Yeah. You're you're doing right. If this you're was really fifth place, you're very yeah. consistent. I am. Yes. That's right. I have zero Number connection four, to the people. Pandemic. Whoa. <laughs> Number three, Azul. Okay, I'm close. Okay, I'm either see, gonna get good or get good. It's 13 oh. votes for one, 39 for the other. <gasps> Not even close. Number two, five points for Mike. Bingo. With Carcassonne yeah, and Z. You get them both two points again. 100. What is happening? Okay, so Z still has five. <clears throat> yeah, I do, I do. Camille, you're up to seven. Yeah, yeah. And Mike's at 17. Shine bright like a diamond. Mike is crushing Shine everybody. Shine bright like a diamond. Parks, because like... <laughs> Can so we combine our scores? Right? We fall I think that's the only back enough. The merge. Get more votes. Yeah. When does the yeah. merge happen <laughs> in this game? All right. What's the most annoying habit of a person with a smartphone? Oh boy. All right. Oh, I already know it. <laughs> so tell me, and I'll see if it's on the list. People being on the phone when they're supposed to be with you, like. Okay, that's close here. We got. Okay. Texting while walking slash driving. Mm. That's wow. Checking okay. your phone every spare moment, mm. which is the thing yeah. you said. Texting instead of having a conversation in person. That's like the same thing. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, instead of Constantly taking pictures of everyone and everything. Uh -huh. Talking it. loudly on a Bluetooth headset. <laughs> <laughs> or leaving your ringer on all the time. Oh. Uh, so what you okay. think is the most annoying? Texting while walking and slash driving. Checking your phone every spare moment. Mm -hmm. Texting instead of having a conversation in person. Constantly taking pictures of everyone and everything. Talking loudly on a Bluetooth headset. Or leaving your ringer on all the time. How old are the people that are voting? <laughs> yes, can we, can, we, can you all put your ages? In the chat. Uh, okay, well, which one is the noise? Okay, you already said yours. What annoys you the most of these, like, personally? To, to me, this is a one-two race between talking too loudly on your Bluetooth mm -hmm. and... Um, you can walk away from that, though. The, the one right before that. Not if you're on a bus. Um, yeah. Oh, and taking pictures. Yeah, the, the pictures is me. the second one. The pictures, I think, is. But, I mean, that's the same thing as like you're not being in the moment. You know, smartphones yeah. are so distracting from the moment. Like, I don't mind if you take a picture, but if it's all the time. Okay, hold on. I need the to answer. To me, the those case. are the ones. What two. about you yeah. though? You didn't say what one annoys you the most. Loudly, I think. Mm -hmm. On the on the Bluetooth thing. That person was like, Oh, yeah, well, you know, you got it. I'm like, oh, dude, I don't mm -hmm. care. Yeah, right. you, you know can like, I mean? deal with that by like staring daggers. You're really good at staring daggers. Those people don't care. You can stare all the daggers you want. They're gonna be like, Hey, this girl is taking looking at me really. Mean they're gonna keep talking loud, but then yeah. you talk loud back. That's true, that is true. I don't know, yeah. I don't, yeah. But now you get the first shot. <sighs> All right, what do you want? Uh, well, texting uh, and driving is just stupid. It's also that illegal. Just that, that's just dangerous also. and stupid. It's illegal, yeah. and none of the other ones are dangerous. But I, but I can find that one annoying. Okay, like, okay. with the person all the ages, the Camilla. There you go. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Also, they're making those. Oh, I couldn't figure out what all those numbers meant. They're all ages. 
Jeez. That's okay. a nice range of ages. Thank you. You know what? I'm just going to go with my most annoying one because I can't get past it. Just being on the phone. All right. Whatever it was. Every I, spare moment. I think talking too loud is number one. I'm going to go with my second annoying, which is the pictures. It's probably not going to be number two, but I've got a pretty healthy lead, so I feel right. okay. You feel okay I feel okay. It? So being on the phone every moment, every spare moment. Yep. Pictures. Loud. No, no, I said pictures. Pictures. Because yep. I'm loud, I'm avoiding also. What All else right. we got? Stinky. Oh, I no, have, it's a different one. I have to look at the poll because I don't want to read them in order. Of <laughs> yeah, them. right, right. Texting right. while walking, driving. Checking your phone all the time. Camille picked that. Texting yeah. instead of having a conversation in person. Constantly That's taking not, pictures. No one cares about that. Talking That's loudly on a Bluetooth headset or leaving your ringer on all the time. Leaving your ringer on. Yeah, that's a good choice too. That could be too, actually. Z. All right. Shut your mouth. I'm taking your points. Well, first of all, Camilla and Mike, you get two more points from Z because only one person what? voted for leaving your ringer on all the time. <laughs> yes. Really? People actually are bothered by some of these other innocuous things? Mm -hmm. All right. He said pictures all the time. Me. That's one point, Mike. Right. That's the second last. Oh, so three right. total, so I'm at 20. Okay. <laughs> that, that's 11 people. 14 people said texting instead of having a conversation in person. That one doesn't seem... I mean, I depends I mean, on the situation. Third that's place, situational, though. 16 people said talking loudly on a Bluetooth headset. Wow. Oh, no. So it's down to checking your phone or texting while walking slash driving. 22 and 32 okay. votes. I think you're okay. I think so. You are okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Second place for Camilla. But I just took that one out because I was like, it's just stupid. Yeah, yeah I was the, having the, a car the, with them. Like, I'll call them out. I'll, I'll be like, yeah, well, I, pass I, I find it annoying when I'm style. behind the person and I'm like, why did they not go? The light just turned green because they're on their phone. But you right. have a horn. It, and, and why do you piss a horn? Because you're annoyed. Mm -hmm. Also, no, I have a. Uh, that's true, I guess. I have a missile launcher. Or you? Card. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. Max, are we? Uh, are, all right. Are those the correct scores? Didn't I get points from someone else? Didn't somebody just give me points? Oh, I like how David. No. no. No one picked one. Okay, I like great. how David says no one calls anymore, so no ringing. You obviously haven't been in church lately. Because in every service, <laughs> some phone goes off, and then somebody's like, yeah. ah, looking through the purse of like, leave the ringer off. And yeah. 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 All right. Z has five points. Yeah. All right. Camille has 14. In the double digits. Mike, you're up to 20. You Look can catch Mike. Roy is just rocking it. it. He has these scores even before you say do it. Do it. All right. We're back to games. All right. All right. And Mike, you're first. That's right. All right, Mike. So they. Which category of games uh -huh. are you least interested in? Oh, I asked you. This will be audience. easy Done. for me. Okay. Categories. We have war personally. games. Okay. Oh. Party games. Okay. Heavy Euro games. Okay. Long campaign games. Okay. Legacy games. Okay. Jeez. Memory games. Okay. I wish you would put real time games the in there because that would I be, did not think of that. What is that? Okay. Our personal That's choice. One. I know, but that, I think that war games. Been. Okay. Party games. Party games. Heavy Euro. Heavy Euro. Long campaign games. Long campaign. Legacy games. Legacy. And mem memory games. Almost said memorial games. games. All right. Memory you said, games. You're, you're the, it's, it's how's it phrased? Which category of games are you least, least. interested in? Least interested. Okay. In. Okay. Gosh. So like you hear a game is in this category and you go. Yeah. I don't want to play it. I'm not saying these are bad. You're yeah. just not interested in them yourself. Oh. This is a tricky question. This is, I think, the hardest question we've had so far, um, because my first gut oh, that was, was nice. saying, that, yeah, my first was gut tough. was saying, war your games. First gut. What my is first your gut yeah, reaction yeah, was saying war gut. games. Your count. But I, I'm gonna go with long campaign games. Oh, that was mine. That was not an option. Yeah, it yeah, was. It wasn't. It was an option. I yes. heard it. That's an option, baby. Long campaign game. Was that what you were gonna pick? Uh, no, I am going to go with. Uh, don't go memory because you don't have one. <laughs> you see what I did there? I'm gonna go with uh, the uh, legacy one. Mm. Okay. They didn't have that. Gosh. Did they not have that? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. I, my choice on What's these left? would be memory. Probably. There's war I do. memory. Oh, yeah. I hate memory games. What's left? War memory. Um, oh, he heavy euro and party. Not Look, everybody party. wants to play the heavy euro game. Let's right. be yeah, honest. Heavy euros. Not enough people are going to vote that. Oh. If you want to go safe, heavy euro. Mm. War or memory? I will go one. number two. War. <laughs> war games. War games. <laughs> good God. Uh, what what is, is it good for? <laughs> Absolutely. Points, points for me. Okay, we actually have a tie. So I'm going to need Roy to pick between oh these boy. three games. Oh, Roy, you're going to break the tie. No, no. Between three? Between three, But yes. he already knows our answer. He's going to play favorites. Mm-hmm. Wait, I have to pick one that I oh. would actually select? Yeah. Okay, so which, oh, okay. Of these, like, none in the which of these category of games are you least interested in, Roy? No, I'm going to I'm gonna give you three, and you pick one of these three. Heavy Euro, obviously. No, no, not Heavy Euro. So you have Party. I, just 
Put a check for heavy hitters. <laughs> Party games, Roy. Long campaign games or legacy. Oh, I'm screwed. Of I'm those out. three, which Ooh. one? I'm out. Long campaign would be the one I don't want. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that means the last place answer. This is nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. Also Europe. Last place answer actually is legacy. Who said legacy? Two points for me. What? I can't win. <laughs> I can't win. Like Mathematically, actually, right, then we I have long win. campaign. So it's two for Camilla and I, right? Then yes. heavy euro, yes. Wow. Who said heavy euro? You said long campaign Nobody was said next. That one. Yes. I only get one point for that, right? Yep. Okay. What? I said long campaign. Then heavy wow. euro. Oh my gosh, have then I got party one. games. Oh no. Then twenty-one points and twenty-eight points. Come on, five points. Memory games is second. Yes. Memory games is number one. No. So oh, I get two points from that. We get you, five. You right? do. Or two? Wow. Or two. I thought for two. sure y'all had the number right. one. I'm at seven right. points, baby. Seven points for Z. Uh -huh. 16 Gross. for Camilla. Mike has 25. How did I lose rockin', points? I rockin'. lose points and I give points? You I better believe one? it. You lose and. Oh, you and gave them points. Gave us points. From my point pool. Yeah. Your point no. Pool. no. I drink your milkshake. I had 17. <laughs> if you no, have 14. <laughs> if you have a milkshake, oh. my soul will reach from I drink your milkshake. All right. Memory games. Last question. What's the most annoying thing about this this game? <laughs> <laughs> I get the memory games. I, I yeah. hate memory games. I love them. You, you're first. You should have picked them first. No, no, it's not our personal. We're wait, we're oh. choosing our personal. No, no, no. no, no you're trying to read the rules. Yeah, that's why I didn't Reach these virtual rules. Don't question my my math skills. What's the most annoying thing about other drivers? Oh, my goodness, you. Texting. All right. Here we go. I'm leaving full beam headlights on. I hate every other driver in the world. High beams. Okay. High beams. Leaving high beams on. Driving 10 miles below the speed limit. Yeah. You can pass them. Tailgating. Ooh. Not using turn signals. <gasps> Taking two spaces in a parking lot. <gasps> oh, no, that's great because then you get to park like super close where they can't get in. Never Talking mind. on a cell phone. That's fine. All Whatever. right, so which of these are annoying by other drivers? Leaving the high beams on, driving 10 miles below the speed limit, tailgating, not using turn signals, taking two spaces in a parking lot, or talking on a cell phone. I don't like being third. All right, let's one. see. So, oh, this is double parking, definitely the worst. Follow really? closely. Bye. Tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're picking tailgating. Then. Yes. Tailgating. Tailgating. Oh, okay. Ticket to ride. <laughs> Do I risk it with the turn signal? That's a solid choice. Turn which into one, that. Which one annoys you the most? I'm going personal on this one. Uh, I'm gonna go. Tailgating's pretty bad when somebody's yes. just riding your bumper. Yes. That's pretty bad. Tailgating. Like, dude. Or back turn off. signal. Those, those are the two that get me the. Turn signal is the most one I complain about here in Miami. Because most people yeah, don't. Yeah. They, they, they may as well not have them here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with not using a turn signal. Okay. Right. I think she just gave us two points there, Z. Uh, yeah, I want to make it clear. So. Uh, I hate every other driver on the planet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only person who knows how to drive. Um, these are all terrible. These are all pretty bad. Yeah. To be fair, one of these is not really about the driving. The, the parking, parking one's not really about the driving. Tricky, that's, that's the a... tricky one. But it is the worst, and you should all vote that one as number one. I think I'm going to go with Followed a... closely by the one I said at number two. I'm going to go. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go safe. This is probably only give me a point or two. I don't think it'll be the lowest one. I'm going to say driving 10 miles under the speed limit. All right. Yeah, that one's. All right, last place. But again, you can pass those guys. You with can. only three you know? votes, talking on a cell phone. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Fine. You have a Bluetooth. Second last place. Giving this person one point if they picked it. I don't remember who picked what. High beams on. I don't no think anyone picked that. that. No. That's a quick. That is annoying, done. though. Yeah, well, that's annoying. a quick one. No, it's worse when you don't have it on, then they flash you like you do because mm. you actually have good headlights. Mm. <laughs> so All then right. I turn them on. I'm like, we got a tie for third. She's got a headlight. We got a tie for third, so I'm just leaving it. I don't put up You get three points if you picked either of these. Okay. Okay. Taking two spaces in the parking lot. Yes. Oh. Is that you? Did That's me. It? Okay. That's three that points you? for you. That's Z. what I'm talking. I just broke into double digits. <laughs> <laughs> and not using turn signals. Oh. Hey. Do you have oh. double digits also? Did I get caught? Oh. Did All right, I so, get got it? One, so we're, we're down to uh, tailgating and driving 10 miles below the speed limit. I one think is I'm 16 okay. votes and one I'm, is 21. I think I'm okay. I think under the speed limit. People get really mad about that. Yeah. I think I'm okay, though. The number one answer? Tailgating. Yes, baby! Oh. Wait, so, is that what I said? Nah. I think that's, what, that's actually tailgating. what you said. Yeah, Zeta not say but, you know, we're, gonna, said the we're just going to go with it. Memory game. So, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Tailgating is actually what I said. <laughs> not the double parking I thought would be number one, so yeah. I went for tailgating. Okay. What about the 
Double digit Z. Okay. You just, okay. You so you just gave us. You yes. So I lost the three I got, and I got gave it, them I each. Got it. I fixed it. Z has Two. seven points. Uh huh. I'm Camilla back into 21 so, 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 points. <laughs> Camille has 21 points, and Mike has 32 points. Wait, wait. Hello. 21. Oh, I don't know. He... Just go with it. It's great. All right, I great. It, so, uh, all right, we fixed 32. Yeah, they're all young I forgot. Now. I forgot that I said tailgating, folks. Mm -hmm. That's look at that. Uh, Ooh, that score that's is gonna make disgusting. you have a seizure. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, there you go. All is right. that it? Good stuff. That was that's a good game. I have seven points. Tom, that was a fantastic game. I love everything about it. There were six it. questions, right? No yes. calls. No I got like a point per question. A point and, a, and, a, and some scraps per scraps. question. I'd like to talk to you, Tom, after this is over points, about publishing your, your game. Uh, I gave I'll have you a contract like ready for you. <laughs> You're welcome. Be, uh, all right, folks. You're welcome. Thank you, Mike and Camille, for joining us for the game. It was a pleasure. Let's go to some contributors, and we'll be back. Happy breakfast, everyone. Today, I'm here to talk to you about this brand new game, Sobek Two Players. And if the name wasn't a hint, it's only for two players. This is a game where you are going to be claiming these good tiles and then trying to sell them in sets with a sort of a King Domino style scoring. So some of the tiles don't have any scarabs on and some do. You need to sell them in at least a set of three and then at the end of the game, the number of tiles of each type, your times are up by the number of scarabs on those tiles, hence the sort of King Domino feel. But it's the marketplace that how you're getting these tiles that's really interesting. You've got this ANK token that faces either a column, a row, or a diagonal. And then that means you can take any of the tiles on that row, moving it along. Then you take that tile, you reorientate it depending on the tile you've just taken, whether it's still in that row, whether it's saying just the column or the diagonal, and that's what your opponent can take from. There's another twist, that the tiles you jump over are then added to your corruption pile, and that's gonna be bad for you probably points-wise at the end of the game. It's an, a really interesting game that you play, it says 20 minutes on the box, maybe 15 depending on how AP people get, and as soon as you finish, you're really happy to go again, really have been enjoying this one. That is Sobek, a new two-player game, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this one. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your breakfast. One of the cool things about Court Express is the awesome 3D uh, table presence of the train that you get to see on the table once you have set up the game. Uh, but one of the things that many people are missing is the playmat that they get to show off at uh, the different conventions because the retail edition of this game doesn't come with that playmat. But have no fear, that image has been officially made available by the developers and uh, now available on the BGG file section in different kind of formats. So you can find a big image or like I have the A4 size image as well. So if you print it as A4, which is the way that I prefer, it will give you multiple pages of printout, which you can print from any printer size. And then you can tape them together like I have. Why I prefer that is so that I can fold them up more easily as well uh, at the seams of these A4 prints. And if you fold it, it goes back easily back in your box like a flat sheet of paper uh, as compared to rolling up a big A1 uh, A size or A0 size paper so it goes easily back in your box as well so if you are interested in having more immersive presence on your table then get this file from bgg file section that's it for me happy gaming Let's take a look at the uh, news today, folks. Not a lot of news, just a little bit of news for today. Okay. 
So, first of all, in the board game news, we have GameFound is now open for creators. And what this means is GameFound was allowing uh, publishers to come in and put up projects. Obviously, GameFound has been running projects, but mm -hmm. it was like a, you had to apply for the process, and they were doing like a testing of it right, for a year right. or so. Now anybody can go in and do a project. We have not yet seen a burst of projects, but I don't. I think we will. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, they they were sort of uh, testing it out, and I think the results have been have spoken for themselves. I'm curious to see where it goes. All right, then we have. Asmodee USA, new distribution partner. <laughs> Feels like we should have in our Asmodee acquisition news of the week. Yeah. Uh, now they're going to be distributing stuff for Spin Master. Okay. So um, that has games like Marvel Zombies, Marvel United. This sounds very uh, Simon, yeah, but well, it is. It's Spin upgrade. Master works with Simon quite a bit lately, especially, and I guess Asmodee now is uh, working with Spin Master as well. And Disney Sidekicks. And they're also going to be working with Transatlantis Games, and they're distributing paints, the Two Thin Coat paint line. And also Sky Tear Games. Sky Tear, I think. Sky Tear. And also Parabellum Games. Mm. And Modifius Games. So, this is interesting because this makes Asmodee a pretty big distributor. They are, yeah. They're, they're doing that as well as a big player. So, oh yeah, like it's not Modifius March. Game. It's not March. It's April. Don't worry about it. You're in. <laughs> oh, it said March seventh. It says it right there on the side. Ah, ah, okay. All right. Okay. Chip Theory Games is opening a curio store. This is not an April Fool's joke. And fortunately, our news now is a week after April. We're, we always hate when we do the news around this time because it's hard to tell what's real or not. Yes. Um, but they are doing a curio store. Uh, this is products for games like dice trays, books, a pop-up book, plushies, mugs, all kinds of things. Huh. Well, this is going to be very exciting news for Mike Delisio. Yeah, loves, he seemed, he seemed interested their, in it. Uh, their stuff. That's a cute little goblin dude or whatever he yeah, is. Yeah, I think that's one of the people from Too Many Bones. I think he throws bombs or potions or things like that. That's neat. All right. Vendel to Viking. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a prequel to PAX Viking. This is coming uh, from Ion Games. Okay. It's a prequel standalone expansion. <laughs> I love that that title. It's a prequel so standalone they mean expansion. In timeline, it's a prequel. Right. You can play it by itself, but it's also an expansion to the base game. Okay. I haven't played the original PAX Viking. Has anyone played it? I haven't heard of it much. I told I you, folks, not a lot of news. I don't know anything about it. I like that cover. Colas, or is it Cholas? I don't know. The Sculptors. This is a game about building temples in southern India. So there's a lot of different temples being built in here. I believe the designer is an Indian designer. So that's kind of cool, because mm -hmm. India is the most populous country on earth so i'm i mean at some point we're going to see a lot of games coming out of there i know Isn't that the, that china i think india passed china mm -hmm. it's really close if it they're well if they're not first or second but yeah. it's really okay. close right right so it's um, nice to see this kind of uh yeah designers from there getting their games out i don't love this cover though i i don't know well, but this might be a neat game. I do like thematically. I like the idea, the sculptor, you know, the sculpting, the, the putting together things. So that'll be cool. All right. Chronicles of Avell. This is coming to U.S. This is coming from Rebel Games. It will come in America from Asmodee. Now, I'm curious what you think of this cover because it's like a funky, weird fantasy everything in a bottle thrown in. It's giving me a small world vibe in many ways. I actually like a lot more the the sort of out of focus part of the box. There's a castle back there with various planets or moons above it. I like what's going on there. You know what I mean? The rest of this, the foreground, seems chaotic. It seems very sort of small world. Well, what it is, it's a cooperative board game where you're a bunch of characters and you're going out and fighting different things. You're exploring this this world. You'll face monsters, defend a castle, and banish the beast. Uh, it is a small game, though. That's one thing I'm interested in. It's okay. 40 bucks. 
Okay. So I'm okay with like I'm okay with going out on an adventure if it's contained. I don't need another campaign game. Sure, sure. And it doesn't seem like it does. There's four character boards, eight dice, five monster dice, 31 monster tokens. So that's kind of cool because no one's making these kind of games right now. Sure, right. You had the one that you like from uh, the puzzle one, the Rising Five. No, the adventure, um, the one from Cosmos. Where there's monsters coming, but you don't necessarily want to fight the monsters. Oh, uh, Andor? Legends yeah, Legends of, of Andor. Andor. I mean, that, that's this kind of that's that theme, right? You're trying to do something, but it's a single game, not right. a campaign. Right, sure. I mean, that one does have chapters, technically. So Sure, but each chapter is basically yeah, another true. game. That's true. Okay, so, well, if it's co-op, I'm a little more interested, knowing now it's a co-op game. I'm like, all right, yeah. And if it's a small game, sure. Also, Rebel has a pretty strong they portfolio do. of games. Yeah. All right, so small. You mentioned World of War, Small World, Small World, and Small World of Warcraft have free expansions that you can download online. Really? Yeah. So I went. I actually went to download them because I was going to look at them, and I got caught up in having to register for all this stuff. And I was like, Yeah, forget that. I'll do it later. Okay. But that's kind of cool. Although, you'd have to print them out on cardstock, I suppose, for it to be worth it. But that's kind of. It's still a neat idea. It's nice of them to do that. They're Murlocs, which if you play anything in Hearthstone, Murlocs are a pretty big deal in there. I don't know how big they are in World of Warcraft, but in Hearthstone, there's Murlocs everywhere. Um, there are like the little guys who go, Aah! Yeah, yes. Um, and also, oh no, I guess you're playing against the Murlocs. There's a Murloc invasion, so you play a co-op game against them using oh, the World of Warcraft. Okay, so it's a, it's a very different thing. You are cooperating against something. Okay. Yeah, this expansion called The Revenge of the Murlocs was created by Philip Kearts, who does the desi who designed the original game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then the other, I don't know much about the small the, the World of Warcraft one, I mean the small world, normal one, but I saw you can download both of them. Okay. So that's cool. That's neat. Free that's a distraction from the fact that they just bought five distributing things. Uh -huh. But also, here's a free expansion. Yeah, yeah, look, go Shut play it. this. Go cooperate. Oh my goods! Has an Easter themed version coming out in an egg. Oh, it comes in an egg. Got it. <laughs> oh, this is right up there with the bullet that bang the bullet. Oh came my in. goods, Easter edition. So okay. I think this is There's the a same rabbit on the cover instead of a man. Now. Yeah, and also instead of producing wood and stuff, you're producing chocolate eggs and other Easter related goods. Okay. I actually would like that version just because I don't care about the egg. I would probably take it and put it in the other box. Uh huh. But I would like it gets tiresome to do the whole wood, stone, grain. Just because it's slightly different. It's slightly different. The eggs, fact that you'll take any theme over the original theme. It's problematic, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'll trade you two of my chocolate eggs, uh, and then I'll take one of your diabetes. Still one of my least favorite names, but I do like the two eggs that take the O's and goods. Yeah, that's cute. All right, Parks is getting an expansion. Now we're getting to some news. I don't know how I feel about this one, because mm -hmm. Parks is a really small little game that's really great. It was sold at Target. Yeah. It's so easy to get into. I feel like an expansion's a weird vibe here, because it's a mass market game, and expansions for that are usually... Are you thinking of... You might be thinking of the... the I'm thinking of Trails. You're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Delete everything I just said. I'm not wrong. You're wrong, Tom. Sorry. So I'm, what I meant was, you're wrong. Delete everything that Z just said. Got it. <laughs> no, okay. I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm so wrong, Parks yeah. is the original, I'm thinking not of trails. trails. Yeah. Parks already had an expansion. By the way, Called this picture Nightfall. This picture is quite confusing because most of what you're seeing is an image of Caper, okay? That's true. There's just a picture Parks of Parks there. It's just in the <laughs> back there. Well, this is because this is from Gamma and they're showing off all yeah, this. Yeah, they're showing stuff. everything off. But just so you know, most of this is is Caper, okay? Anyway, Parks is um, yeah, that going down the road idea, but it already had one, like you said. It had that Nightfall expansion, which I think is very good. So now they have this wildlife one, I think is what it's called. And it sounds like a little bit more of everything that was in there already. Yeah. The original one was a shakeup. The, the Nightfall expansion was a shakeup. It's like, here's a, a secondary board. There's now these tents you can build and take new actions with them. This sounds like a little bit of everything kind of expansion. 
that's fine. Especially if you've played Parks a lot, you can reinvigorate it with something like this. Yeah, these guys do good work, so uh, I'm excited for it. Another expansion coming is, he's not excited about this one, is Galaxy Trucker Keep On Trucking. So Galaxy Trucker originally, when it came out years ago, had two expansions, which were called more, the Big Expansion the big more, and then the Bigger Expansion. Yeah. So I'm not sure exactly, this is the expansion for the new version of Galaxy Trucker. I'm not sure what exactly the difference here, because it says, it says um, there's new ships. There is um, Rough Roads, which was its own little expansion. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. And it says different parts can be mixed and matched. There's triple-sided boards, new alien figures, new adventure cards. So this is my guess. I'm guessing from reading the description that they took some of the stuff from either one or both of the original expansions, okay. added in a little bit more, and that would be my guess as to what's in here. Because otherwise, why did they rename it? Because it was a terrible name? Whoa, that's in line with their silliness. Keep on trucking is in line with silliness and not a terrible name. Okay. Yeah, reasonable. But I don't know. You're right. They might just be retweaking it all because this is this was a clean break, this reprint, right? With a new look, a new... new... It's a new look, but it wasn't... There were was some changes, but it wasn't terribly different. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you like or don't like Galaxy Trucker, the new expansion will change your opinion. Not at all. Sure. All right. Finally, uh, in news that will make Lookout people happy or not, stay tuned, Agricola 15 is coming out. So for some reason, they're celebrating the 15th anniversary, not the 10th, with a big box version of Agricola. Mm -hmm. So this is coming out. Um, I'm assuming it's coming out at Essen. Yeah, that's when it's coming out. It's going to include, says, several of the expansions, number of promo cards, 430 cards, 200 tokens, and more than 250 wooden bits are in the XL box. So... Here's the deal, though. Mm -hmm. From what I understand and from what I've read, this is including the base game with a couple more decks of cards. Okay. There is so much extra stuff for Agricola, and as far as I can tell, much of it is not in this box. Really? Yes. Oh. Because I've already seen some very angry shouting about this online. Got it. Like, Got why it. do you want to make a big box... That doesn't then have everything in it. Sure, yeah. You know what? I wouldn't mind this kind of product if it was a sort of greatest hits. And maybe that is, that's what and it is. And maybe that is what it will be yeah. then. If it was Core Box, the original game, and then, a, a again, a selection of greatest hits of cards from... Yeah, because they, really, they have really, they have, alien, they have like an alien there's deck, so much. there's a, a deck of designers, there's so much weird stuff, there's like the V deck, yeah. the Z deck, the, that's your deck. That's my deck, I make that one actually, uh, I didn't, no, I didn't, um, I wouldn't mind that if they just picked like, oh, these are the, these seem to be the most fun cards, or the ones that, that are best from the V deck, the X deck, the whatever, and here's, here's sort of a, I don't know, a director's cut, or whatever, of Agricola, that'd be fun. But I don't know. We don't really know what this is, I right? I also don't know, like, someone's asking, can it fit all the stuff in it? I don't know. It's a big we'll find box. Out. I know that. They, they showed the side of it, and it is a big box. I really want a 15th anniversary edition of Caverna, frankly, although that's not 15 years old yet. But, but there's not going to be a whole lot. They only have one expansion, right? Or, yeah, I know, or but I can barely fit everything in the box as is. I think there is there's a mini expansion, and then there's a, a normal size expansion. Okay. I don't care, though. I'm getting less interested in these big boxes anyway. Sure, sure. Yeah. I just want to play a normal game. I want a campaign set in Agricola's world. <laughs> it probably exists. All right, where you go? All righty, folks. Well, that, I think, I am. That's the news. Let's keep going. Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to One Word, One Question. Today's word is nostalgia. Now, nostalgia can be tricky because sometimes we can come back to something after a few years and realize that it's still actually pretty good. For example, The Princess Bride. Other times we can look back at something and realize, you know, that's actually pretty bad. Like say, the original Dumbo, which is a shame because elephants are just so adorable. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, so today's question is, are there any ga board games that you keep around in your collection uh, primarily because of nostalgia and not necessarily because there's a good game? Uh, so answer A if uh, 
you don't keep any games in your collection because of nostalgia, uh, it doesn't matter how many memories you have with it, uh, you're just not going to carry it around. Uh, answer B, if you have one or two games that you uh, tote around uh, just because of nostalgia, but not necessarily because you think they're great games. And answer C, if uh, you have three or more games that you keep uh, because of nostalgia. Now for me, I'm probably in group B. Uh, I have Bang the Bullet, uh, which I enjoy, but by today's standards, I don't know if I would have actually gone out and bought this, uh, knowing what I know now about board games, but I still very much enjoy this game and I'm very much attached to it. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, really likes Munchkin, uh, but we both agree that it's just kind of a silly nonsense activity. Uh, but we keep them around primarily because there are still people in the family that enjoy them and we like playing these games with them. Uh, so let me know your answers in the comments. I look forward to reading them and I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye. Hey there everyone, it's Jen the Board Game Librarian, flipping some pages and pushing some cubes with my segment from the page to the table, where I pair books and sometimes graphic novels together with board games. And then you get to look at other parts of our game room in the new house. Woohoo! So I've already technically done Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but when I brought up the version that I read as a kid, The Adventures of Wishbone, People were like, I don't know who Wishbone is. So this is Wishbone, okay? Wishbone was an American PBS um, children's thing um, back in the 90s. So you can date me a little here. But Wishbone. Wishbone was amazing. He did classic um, literature for children. And he was this adorable little um, Jack Russell Terrier. Anyway, I'm also going to show you as Stonewall continues to be a pesty you know who, um, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a graphic novel version, if that floats your boat too. To go along with um, the really amazingly great two-player Jekyll and Hyde trick-taking game from Luma. Um, this is kind of a sleeper hit, I feel like, from last year. Um, maybe one of the best two-player games um, of 2021 when we had gotten it. So one person is playing as Hyde, one person is playing as um, Jekyll, and you're going back and forth and trying to push, basically stave off the Hyde um, part. So there's different um, color tricks. There's also some poison cards that do some things. And then once um, certain color tricks have been won, other things kick in. I like this a lot. I love two-player trick-taking games a lot. Um, I wish there were more of them, but this is a great option for you. Um, Stonewall and I say goodbye. He must need food or something. So that's all this week, friends. Happy practice. <laughs>
and welcome back to our Spring Spectacular. I am Camilla Clyhorn. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Chris Yee. All right, and we are going to be playing Echoes. Echoes. Oh, there we are. Echo, Echo. Echo. Echoes. Ah, all right, so we're going to be playing day. Echoes, which is going to be a sound deduction game. But before we do, we have a contest going on for this. To win two copies of this worldwide, email us at contest at dicetower.com. In the subject line, be sure to put microchip so we know you're entering the contest for this game. So email us there, and with that, let's jump in. Y'all have not played any I've of these, never right? Played. Um, I have played this one time because someone around was like, oh, let's play this. And I was like, I'm actually working at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll play. Was it microchip this one or was it a no, different it was, one? It, it was, was the other one. one. Was okay, the other one, yeah. yeah. So I played the other one as well. So you have an idea of what's going on. Um, and you don't. And I don't. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> it's to yeah, Very, very, very little rules. You'll be okay. So we are, I guess, kind of detectives and we are trying to figure out what's going on. But in this, rather than getting clues, we just have different sound chips. All right, and so we're trying to put together a timeline of what happened. There's six mm. different chapters, each of which are going to have three sound bites that go with them, and we have to arrange it chronologically. Now, I might not be too smart. Is this upside down? It's quite possibly. And this one? Okay. Yes. She liked standing on her head. It's you okay. Know, I was, I was doing it for the people. Come this on now. Go sideways. And that one probably does too. We'll figure it out. Look at us. We're already on our way to figuring out what's going on. Success. So, then these, <laughs> so then these are the. Um, I guess the the parts of the chapter that we have to arrange in order. So ultimately, what we're looking to do is find a chapter that then has three parts. Okay. Okay. And once we do that, we can check the answer. And ultimately, we want to put together the whole story, each chapter with three mm. parts. These cards here are our starting ones that we'll do, and then we go into part two if we make it that far. So how do we get the sound bites by scanning them in the app? This is app assisted. So we will turn it up so everyone can hear once I. <laughs> What's app in with this it game? Is, it is app assisted. It, it, it would be a lot less interesting of a game if we had to just make the sound effects ourselves. Less? Oh, 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 I don't oh, know. Rock. So, rock. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So here are our chapters, and pretty much it's uh, we have a prologue. Oh, it's, it's playing right now. We have a prologue that we're going to listen to here, and then we will go through and just choose what we want to scan and listen to, and based on the clues that we hear in those sound bites, we start arranging until we think we have a whole chapter complete and we can check our answer. In chat, if you want to play along, yes, you're, uh, you'll be hearing the iPad through our microphone, so. Oh. So, you... hopefully, all goes well. All right, are we ready for the prologue? Let's ready? do it. All right. It's really loud. Can you hear it? The future. After a mysterious apocalyptic event known only as the darkness, humanity has been sent back to a more primitive level of civilization. No nations exist anymore, just scattered tribes around the world, roaming icy wastes in search of food. Your powers to hear the sounds embedded in objects have earned you great respect in your tribe, and you are often called upon to locate resources, resolve disputes, and examine ancient gadgets. But today, while out on a hunting party, you became separated from the group and discovered a square opening behind a large rock. Inside, you found a long metallic room filled with some of the strangest objects you have ever seen. Remnants of the time before the darkness. You now sit with the most interesting objects laid before you. You've realized that by using your powers here, you might discover the truth behind the darkness and the events that led to the downfall of human civilization. You take a deep breath and with some trepidation, reach out for one of the objects. The keyboard, downfall of human society, right there. No, it said the darkness was, so I believe when... This caused the darkness. When the darkness released their album uh, on which, uh, I believe in a thing called love, it's all been downhill since then. Oh, that explains the world. All right. Um, Roy, was the sound okay? Did it was Yes. Way too loud? It was decently loud, but uh, you could hear it good. Okay, well, awesome. All right. Um, okay, so it sounds like we reached out for an item, so we just choose one. What do we reach out for? What do we Keyboard. want to scan? Keyboard. I'm thinking maybe we start with a chapter just sure. to kind of like 
see what it starts with, and then maybe kind of match it from. Because oh, okay. there are, it did say that there are clues in the pictures themselves. You know, so that's a computer. Oh, so maybe a keyboard would go with that. You know, sure. like the planets that we're looking at. Maybe that's a planet. You know, this, yeah, this could yeah, go. different There's things like, like that. That looks like the same projector. Right, kind of thing. Something like that. Right. So oh, we are looking that's down. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So so we are looking like for clues in it as well, um, as well as listening. So do we want to start with a chap? So yeah, you want to scan you want to do this that one? Because okay. maybe we see some, uh, All you know. All right. So all I'm doing is that. Here we go. Zoom. Simulation initiated. 10500. 10400. 10300. 10200. 10100. Okay. <laughs> mm. I mean, that could be... Hmm. Sequence initiated. Could that be the smart I mean, watch talking to you? No. Well, no, because these are oh, different the chapter, chapters. I this see. is the chapter here. I mean, it could be. These are cardboard in case. I yes. Yeah. Curious, so the white so. border up here are our chapters, and then these cards down here with the black are the in do, innards of a chapter. What do you call that? Innards is probably not the word I'm looking for. Book innards. Yeah. Book innards. Yeah, I love these flipping through the book, through innards. The book innards of the story. Yeah, <laughs> the, the best part. Those like innards were What do you call that, that? that? I don't know. Pages. Page. No, it's like the content in it. The the. There's chapter innards. headings. It is officially and, and chapter that you're sub, reading. Subheadings. Fine. Innards. Innards. Text. Yeah. Text. <laughs> these are our innards of the chapters. Woo! I just picked up Mistborn last night. That is an innard turner. I was up all <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going with it. Sticking to it. Um, okay, so what do you guys think? Um, so I there's mean, a countdown. A countdown. It could be sequence initiated, something like that. Like that was some sort of trigger. Mm -hmm. Or the telescope, maybe. This is an eye scan. Yeah, I think any of those. Electronics, maybe just start there. Things. Yeah, just, just start there. We'll see. Okay. By the way, um, sci-fi, in the future, let's not make robots sound sorry, super intimidating. Yeah, all right. Sequence initiated, oh, 0500. 10, 500. 10, 400. 10, 300. 10, 200. 10, 100. 10, 1,000. Okay, so it was more, but then it went further and something actually blasted off. Yeah. Blasted off or exploded or something. <sighs> well, because this, I mean, right. maybe it put that into space. Into orbit or something like that. Um, so I'm wondering if it has something to do with the telescope, like someone watching it or something. Um, that kind of looks like, uh, I, I don't know. This one or this one? The, the one you point at the telescope beep thing. Telescope I pointed, beep. Okay, that one. Does that kind of look spacey. like the, the satellite in that picture there? What part does? Like the, this. Oh, does oh, this no, look related the, to that? Solar thing? wings. Yeah, oh, no, okay. no solar wings. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Well, we can just kind of keep uh, scanning and listening, right? Yeah. Inner okay. is the technical Oxford Dictionary. Well, do you want to go with that one? Do you want to scan it so I'm not like Let's reaching in front of you there? Yeah. So then you just hold it over and hit that. But no, this one. This one. No, I'm not find it. Don't mess it up. Okay. Sure. That's it. I see it now. We have 300 in orbit, designed specifically for the job. But we haven't yet worked out how to aim them fast enough. Watch. Simulation initiated. Oh. Do they aim them by sight? So it could be that and then that, like that, and then mm -hmm. it counted down. Mm -hmm. Or it could be setting it up. It could be, it could be a previous this could, chapter. Right, this could be a later chapter, exactly. Interesting. So okay. that at least has the same voice leading into that. Yes. Right. I don't know, like, I wonder if the chapter heading is just, like, something to do with the chapter, setting the overall thing, or is it, like, this is where the chapter begins? You know, it's like, is this a header, or? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, do you right. want to see what that does? OK. So, Or we can even scan a different chapter just to kind of get some context of it. I say we do the keyboard and then yeah, maybe we can okay. listen to some other stuff. See if we get something else. At last. Just had to go the old fashioned way. It's a Computer, different voice. Mm -hmm. Display videos for drones 68 to 74. Mm -hmm. Drone. Maybe that one there. Maybe. maybe. 
So we've heard a couple different voices. Do we want to maybe scan her and see if we can figure out? Sure. Because yeah, we've what recently heard. Together? She sounded a bit more Irish. Something, yeah, 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 some sort of. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I agree with Loopy. It sounds like it's like, it's a missile defense system, right? Because they're like, oh, we need, we have 300 things in orbit. We just need them to be able to aim faster. That sounds yeah. like, let's shoot missiles out of the sky. Yeah. Mm. And it sounds like it probably went awry and blew up the Earth. Just guessing. I like it. Down with the player. <sighs> this disease seems unstoppable. Those ideas you had, Ravna, that I said sounded crazy. Yes. Well, I think the time has come to try them. What was that Some sort of disease? Yeah, this is something about a disease. Oh, I missed that. He said the disease is unstoppable. Sorry, I, I don't think I was listening to the words. I was listening to like the voices to try to put them together. <laughs> I was, I was listen, to real I listened to her <laughs> voice. Like, is she the missile one or is she the I, other one? Yeah, but she, sounded maybe more like the missile, but hmm. I think she sounded more like the missile. She yeah. she didn't have the same lilt in in the voice. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, if I ever say anything stereotypical or whatever, I'm literally, I mean, you know, you have to kind of generalize audio oh, right. quality yeah, yeah, as yeah. much as possible right. to try and figure yeah, out clues. Yeah, sure. As well as, yeah. So if yeah. they're not actually Irish or some of those apologies. What is it? Is that like a weird space it's rock or a some statue? some sort of statue. It's a, uh, I'm assuming like a mom with her. Oh, it's a mom with child. a child. Yeah. Yeah. Snuggling. I just think there's plenty of movies yeah. and stories where space rocks bring weird diseases. Oh, to the maybe. Earth. Oh, okay. yeah. So. We got okay. a we got or, a I'm wondering just based going. on looks, I'm thinking there or there, but that's a different flash than that. That's another electronic one. Hmm. This is biohazard. Oh fantastic. So my okay. go with disease. So do we want to scan one of these and see yeah, if let's, yeah. let's okay. listen to those two and see if they go with guy saying disease. Amazing Ramla. This piece of yours will save countless lives. I have a gift for you. The small sculpture above your desk. This is the gift? Is it the culture? He, he said oh, sculpture. sculpture. He said oh, sculpture. Oh, sculpture, right? not culture. Okay. <laughs> oh. Which, I mean, culture. that could, like, like your desk. go with either. I mean, it definitely is the same person, but I assume she's going to be a player throughout, but it could yeah. be mm -hmm. that one as well. So that Rum. could be after this. Oh, yeah, it could. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to listen to that phone thing next? And okay, the biohazard. Or the biohazard. Mm -hmm. It looks like a, it looks like a Nokia razors. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That scans Use really the well. button to begin. Ooh. Don't touch the red button. That aborts the process and deletes the data. Do you see any buttons? That's it. Fibris now has all the data on the disease. Processing data. Estimated time to vaccine production. Five days. So this is earlier. Yeah. Does that go with Fibris over there? I was Fitbit wondering about Fibbit. that. Fibbit. Do we want to see, Fibbit. like, again, what more chapters start? Like, maybe we can get an idea of the chapters? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Let's start with this one because it's closest to me. These statues. By the way, this scans really well. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's... Fibris and Sephora. Huh? Miguel was wrong. That isn't Fibris. Fibris is something else entirely. What's after? Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Please tell me the data will be uploaded in time, Ramla. Yes, with only minutes to spare, but it will be. Oh, good. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Now, someone did just ask in chat, are we playing with half or all the cards? We are playing on the easier mode, which is where you're playing with half. So we only have enough cards to do three chapters, and then second half comes out, too. Oh, so, okay. so we're not going to, there really are only three chapters. Oh, if we can kind of limit it. Yeah, I should have said it. So there's only half involved. of the chapter cards, the innards out here. Oh, so you can actually play with everything With everything, out. you put all out at once. Yeah, Ooh, so we are. This is why it's um, maybe a bit more confusing. Right, we're so, so we are here. trying to narrow down to three chapters, yeah. Oh, um, can we see what Fitbit the, over there yeah, is? Yeah, what he does. I'm very curious. Talking about the Fitbit. Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Fibris is ramping up vaccine production. Soon we'll have enough for the entire global population. But Ramla, 
Alhad reports Ibris is destroying city so she can build the vaccine factories. Log into the system and check the drone videos from Chennai. So it sounds like that's earlier. This is maybe yeah. later because it's that little panic like, hey, is it going to come out soon, right? So this is like mm -hmm. earlier and this is maybe a later chapter. Okay. So um, we wanna... just and this on seems like this three. goes like before that. because they're talking about producing the right. vaccine. Yeah, that's probably an earlier chapter. Yeah. All right, let's check out this one. I like. Let's do it. Just because I think it looks cool. The cracked SD card. Yes. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Okay. So it sound that sounds like so, the post apocalypse. Yeah. Right. Like after oh, everything's like broken. Maybe the destroyed. final chapter. Because it's definitely like it's definitely cracked and yeah. broken. I agree. Oh, huh, okay. Let's do it over here. Okay. Yeah, um, special K makes a point in the chat. Like if we had paper and like wrote some of these down, yeah, it might yeah. be easy to oh, sure. organize right. our thoughts. I think at this point we're really just trying to like Put same General situations story. like oh they're walking here and here like we heard the same sequence you know that kind of stuff. Um, it definitely sounds like we're working on cards for this chapter and probably cards for this chapter because those definitely maybe. went together. Yeah. And then that it was was it like was these? It, like this? it seemed like these were yeah. all kind of related. Hopefully. Okay, maybe yes. So we, we want to look for a third item for one of these and then listen to them in order to see if we think we have the order and then. Because we, we don't have to do the chapters in order. We can do any chapter. Okay. Like, we're not necessarily looking for the first one. Do we want to try so, and... Have we scanned the eyeball thing yet? No, I don't think we have. Let's do it! it. Eyeballs. Oh! What? Uh, okay. Login She's issues. Do a manually. Yeah. yeah. And that was the drone that she was working with. I, yeah. So maybe the drone went down first. Do you want to scan that one? Yeah, let's see what the drone says. Drone went down to Georgia looking for a soul to steal. <gasps> We're just going to scan this quickly. Ah, uh, Fibris. I had to use the override code to watch the drone footage. It's horrifying. You mustn't harm people. Why did you try to hide this from me? I am only doing what is necessary. It's not necessary. You already have enough factories for vaccine production. In addition to vaccine, many drones and machines are needed. What for? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm instructing you to immediately stop all actions that harm people or destroy human settlements. Fibris, do you hear? Ooh, that's spooky. Ooh, that is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the drone. Mm -hmm. That was the drone. So it sounded like, it sounds like this, yeah. she was like trying to log yeah. in with her eye. Biometric yeah. couldn't Had log to, in. Yeah. And, and then it didn't to listen to her. So what do we think would start that? Because that seems like we have pretty good three right there. Yeah, so which one of these We haven't chapter scanned blocks this are? one yet. Do we want to see what that is? I don't know how that would relate at all, but. <gasps> Give it to me, Sifu. <laughs> no, it's mine. Not anymore. Ooh, that's I have no in. idea, yeah. Sounded like I'm thinking that's got to be something in here. We've not heard any of that. Yeah, mm. Tifu is a new character. Yeah. And then it sounded like a swarm of stuff coming up at the end. Yeah, oh. like these. Spooky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. We scanned this one as well, right? And this, we, we've yeah, heard these. We've heard that this was him talking to Miguel, right? Or her, I'm sorry, Romla talking to Miguel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't that, then gave him that, her that. And that was the wrong. This, maybe that one again? Like something from. She said something like. The, the fibro this strand isn't... was wrong or something. Hmm, right? Yeah. Um. I'm okay listening again. Do you, does it keep track of how many things you look at? I think no. I think you only get judged based on the number of attempts, like of solves. Oh, okay. Think. So yeah, if we say, oh, hey, no. I think this is a chapter one, two, three, and we're wrong. Right. Got it. Is that again? Fibris and Sefu. Huh? Miguel was wrong. That isn't Fibris. Fibris is something else entirely. Incoming call. 
Hello, Miguel. Please tell me the data will be uploaded in time, Ramla. Mm. Yes, with only minutes to spare, but it will be. Oh, good. I'll leave you to it. So it was an incoming call. And it's going to be uploaded, so she's working on uploading. Uploaded, had a problem, had to do it manually. Maybe. Do you think? What was the other, what was the Fitbit one? That was a different phone call, right? Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Fibris is ramping up vaccine production. Soon we'll have enough for the entire global population. But Ramla, I've had reports Fibris is a strong city so she can build the vaccine factories. Mm. Log into the system and check the drone oh. videos from Chennai. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think so. So that's done. I'm wondering, we might want that one with that one, just based on looks. Maybe that's yeah. how those goes, but we'll see. So do we want to scan these in order just to, like, make sure before we yeah, check the it. solution? Okay. I think that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think so we listen good. to that. I'll just go down to the next one. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Are they far enough? Okay. Oh. I love it. Oh. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, okay. All right, so then we go, yep. Yeah. These iPad speakers are so loud, by the way. They are. At last, just had to go the old fashioned way. Computer, display videos for drones 68 to 74. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Last one. Ah, oh, Fibris. I had to use the override code to watch the drone footage. It's horrifying. You mustn't harm people. Why did you try to hide this from me? I am only doing what is necessary. It's not necessary. You already have enough factories for vaccine production. In addition to vaccine, many drones and machines are needed. What for? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm instructing you to immediately stop all actions that harm people or destroy human settlements. Fibris, mm. do you hear? I wonder if that'll be a next chapter because then we mm -hmm. see it. Okay, all right, so we want to check this answer? Let's do it. All right, so we're going to go to solve. And then same thing, so we'll just scan one, two, three, four. Go down okay. the line, and if it is correct, there's they'll tell us like um, which ones are correct or wrong. But if it's all correct, then it'll play the whole clip and we might get more information from it. What's it say? Chapter solved. <laughs> so listen to chapter or scan chapter marker to listen later. So we'll go ahead and listen to it. And again, it's going to play the entirety, and there might be a little additions put in. Okay, so listen for more. Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Fibris is ramping up vaccine production. Soon we'll have enough for the entire global population. But Ramla, I've had reports Fibris is a strong city, so she can build the vaccine factories. Log into the system and check the drone videos from Chennai. Why? Why is she doing that? I don't know, but stop her. Miguel, I wonder if we should just shut Fibris down. Ramla, she's producing vaccines. She's regulating the climate. Crime rates have plummeted. We can't solve these problems without her. We solved them before. Not like Fibris does. Look, right now, you just need to stop her before she decimates half the planet. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, okay. At last. Just had to go the old-fashioned way. Computer, display videos for drones 68 to 74. X-Files. Ah, oh, Fibris. I had to use the override code to watch the drone footage. It's horrifying. You mustn't harm people. Why did you try to hide this from me? I am only doing what is necessary. It's not necessary. You already have enough factories for vaccine production. In addition to vaccine, many drones and machines are needed. What for? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm instructing you to immediately stop all actions that harm people or destroy human settlements. Fibris. Do you hear? It does awesome. matter. It matters. <laughs> All right, awesome. So we can set that to the side because okay. that's one chapter complete. 
Oh, oh, so it. now we have these two that we're kind of thinking. What is that? Um, that we're kind of thinking so far, right? And then these are our last two. Yeah. Can we scan these? Yeah. I, oh yeah, because we haven't listened to either of these, have yeah. we? Oh, we haven't. Uh oh. No. Sweet. Asteroid. No chapter marker. Please skip. Oh, we're oh, still unsolved. Oh, because we're still Whoops. unsolved. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. I was like, ooh. Okay. And that's our last chance to deflect it. If it gets within 10,000 kilometers, impact is certain. This is what we think it's made of. It's heavy and beautiful. And look through this. I'll focus it on one of the satellites. Maybe. So maybe, maybe. we're trying to blow up an asteroid yeah, that's coming mm, to Earth. And then there's two people talking, and then yeah, well, let's see what this one is first. Yeah, that's maybe. Do you know who you are, Febris? Do you know what your function is? To help. So really early. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we ever hear? Does this go? Oh, or is that was... this one? What did that sound like again? That was just a countdown? That's it. I see it now. No, we have 300 in orbit, designed specifically for the job. Yeah. yeah. But we haven't yet worked out how to aim them fast enough. Watch. Simulation initiated. So I think oh, so they're watching it calculate. Right. So I think that might be the complete chapter there. Mm-hmm. I think, think. So. Do we want to listen to it or just go to solve? I feel good about it. I feel good about just yeah. you feel good? going for the solve. Feel good, yeah. Chris? Do it. Chris feel feels good. good. Let's do it. If anything's wrong, oh, solve. you only have Camilla to blame. I'll take it. You are the captain of this endeavor. I am. Right, Here we go. I'll take it from there. Yeah. Let's see. Chapter solved. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. Boom. Guys, we're amazing. Simulation so, like... initiated. 10,500. 10,400. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Waiting for the beat to drop. <gasps> that's our last chance to deflect it. If it gets within 10,000 kilometers, impact is certain. I'm waiting for the beat to drop. <laughs> this is what we think it's made of. <laughs> it's heavy and beautiful. And look through this. I'll focus it on one of the satellites. That's it. I see it now. We have 300 in orbit, designed specifically for the job. But we haven't yet worked out how to aim them fast enough. Watch. Simulation initiated. Here it is. 10,500. Oh. That's what you wanted. You were waiting for that. Faster this time, right? Yeah. Or is that just Chris? Up in the angst. <laughs> oh, Roy's getting in on it. The peep box <laughs> behind the camera. You see? Roy and I are tending to celebrate the Dubstep point Day. Of the asteroid is right, this is new, isn't and it? The rockets are aimed. It's too late. Have you seen the latest models? If this thing hits, it will be catastrophic. Only Phoebus will be able to compute the data in time and aim the rockets to deflect it completely. We will reduce the damage immensely, and we'll still have Phoebus. Yes. Uh, yes, we will. So I think this is a lot earlier, because mm -hmm. Phoebus isn't a thing, right? It's not a problem yet. Right. Has it taken well, it, over? It sounds like it's not even... It sounds like they're saying, hey, we need Phoebris, this right. AI system, to protect the Earth from yeah, maybe devastation, Phoebris. to protect yeah. all peoples within our nation. I don't know that I remember... All evils that you come up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I remember this one well enough to know anything about the Order. Do you guys want to go through it, or do you remember? We'll, we'll We'd have to listen to it. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, let's... So let's get out of chapter solved this time, or solve this time. All right, so here's the beginning again. <sighs> this disease seems unstoppable. Those ideas you had, Randa, that I said sounded crazy. Yes. Crazy. Well, I think the time has come to try them. OK. 
Okay. Ooh. The time has come to try them. Amazing, Ramla. This Pibris of yours will save countless lives. I have a gift for you. The small sculpture above your desk. This sounds like... Because that's a right lot later than yeah. this conversation. Yeah. So I'm not... Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this one is. So this was the announcement of Phoebrus at a press conference. Do you know who you are? Phoebrus. Do you know what your function is? To help. To help. Okay, and then the little... And then the... The press a button. Sorry. Hit that blue button to begin. Don't touch the red button. That aborts the process and deletes the data. These are. <laughs> That's it. Fibris now has all the data on the disease. Processing data. Estimated time to vaccine production. Five days. Does that sound in order to you all? I mean, I get just you like turn a it lot on, of time yeah. between them, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. Whereas that was like a sequence of conversation or something like this. This is like... This is way more spaced out. Right. Yeah, it sounds like idea, yeah. announcement, hey, it's working, like months later, right. and then months later, like... Problem, solution, resolution yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I, so. I guess, because I, I definitely didn't think it was that one. <clears throat> no, that one definitely seems later. Yep. Yeah. And then that, that one, one was later. like that more posed, like, like kind of almost like in that order. So, yeah. okay, so, well, and, and and so I think that's right. Just as a curiosity, how do you tell if the cards are like first half or second half cards? Um, I saw a, you looking yeah, at that. Yeah, they have that, a little right? symbol right down here. So you'll see these on the back have no symbol. Oh, that's the first okay. half. Mm, uh, but if you're playing the whole thing, you would just put them all out there. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So. Oh, I didn't do this. Sorry. You want to take over? So I'm mm -hmm. reaching in front of you. This one? Yep. And let's see. Let's see it. Chapter solved. Guys. We did it. We're, we're so, so on top of things. smart. Scaramouche. We're Scaramouche. awesome. We to be clear by we, I mean me as the captain. <sighs> Thunderbolts but. mining. This disease seems unstoppable. Those ideas you had, Randa, that I said sounded crazy. Yes. Crazy. Well, I think the time has come to try them. When? Right now. I know you're due to go on maternity leave. It's okay. Oh, I mean, that's new. What kind of world do I want Seth mm. to grow up in? Seth, oh, this okay. One. I'll oh, do Zephyr. it for you. Okay. Do you know who you are? Febrins. Do you know what your function is? To help. She's online. You did it. Your baby boy has you a sister. You did it. Around. A sister who might just save the world. <laughs> or destroy it. <laughs> you know. Hit that blue button to begin. There's but one in every family. Don't touch the red button. <laughs> it was not that me, to be clear. The and the data. <laughs> also might have been me. That's why we keep you That's it. Fibris now has all the data to on the destroy. disease. Processing data. Estimated time to vaccine production. Five days. Amazing, Ramla. This Pibris of yours will save countless lives. I have a gift for you. The small sculpture above your desk. Oh, it's beautiful. Radon's brother and sister, right? The way the sister is protecting the brother oh. made me think of Pibris and Sifu. Thank you, Miguel. So I'm wondering if that's the next chapter then. All right, so we have these chapters. So we have these chapters. So this is when she was developing Phoebus. So then we think this will be maybe the chapter after it. And that's a later chapter. Mm. Maybe going into the destruction of the world and post-apocalyptic yeah. kind of thing, possibly. I'm okay. trying to figure out if this is... Before or after this. I th this Is this the first one? Right, because that, that one over there with the asteroid and stuff, it sounds like Phoebus is already online. I, I can't tell. I don't know. When I don't know if it's orders. online. I thought it was like developing still, and here it seems. Well, that, I don't. This yeah, sounds I don't like Phoebus existed, but it only had a small capacity. Right. She hadn't like so, presented it yet, and so either it hadn't been presented or it had come online, but it couldn't do this yet. Right. 
Sure. Well, like what we can do is we can kind of just stack them like that and just put it aside. We don't know what order it goes in. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? And then we bring out our new cards. Ooh. Okay, I gotta oh, say, uh -huh. every time she asks Phoebus, like, do you know where you are? Or like, do yeah. you know who you are? I just, I want it to be, do you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby! <laughs> you just really All want right. this to be a rock song. Yeah, yeah. I, You're working I really do. hard. That is this blood sample. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if that's her son. Some bro oh, that's his glasses. Oh. Assuming. He just broke his glasses. Broke no. his glasses. Ooh, the red button and the scarf. So it did talk about the red button in... Yeah, Never mind, in the one we already saw. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to listen to the chapters first again, or am I the only one that has terrible memory You're here? the only one. Okay, no, fabulous. I want to listen to Okay, great. Thanks. I really do. I, I imagine really the stuff that has to, to do with the kid has to do with... This it was, one? It was this, this one. one where there was a kid... Kid playing and stuff? Playing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cher, no! Oh, look. Look at the picture. Oh, his glasses are getting broken. See that, Chris? Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> he sees it. Yeah, so the drone's there, and he's getting punched in the face. <laughs> this is a fabulous picture. Oh, I really... We might need the green screen for that picture. It's I fantastic. really like that. Yeah, the drones are coming in. Oh, like, so it's Big in, like, Sister protecting activate. brother, but Big Sister has oh. big guns. Oh, it is on? Yeah. Oh, green screen's on. Oh. You know they need that. It's been on the whole time? Yeah. It's fantastic. I love I it. I Yeah, no, sorry. I was trying to fix it. Look at That's that. Excellent. He's boom. <laughs> My big sister's got weapons. That's right, the big sister Lumi. Military Whoa. grade. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one was just jungle noises. Oh, and monkeys. Forgot the monkeys. That's how we knew that we were in the jungle. Yeah. Chris dropping the beat for us. All right. Oh, this is a picture of a hospital. With so like maybe people being goes with that sample. Dead bodies being moved out. Oh. Then we have samples. Paul? Well, Paul. We Paul's haven't sample. met a Paul yet. Uh uh. All right. So we think these two go together. Do you want to put them up there together just to kind of show? And maybe even and probably the, this one too. I think. Glasses. I mean, also kind of seems. Glasses, oh, glasses. with the kids playing, right? Yeah. Give it to me, Sifu. No, it's mine. Not anymore. Is someone's sick. No, they're just fighting. They're fighting. Give they're it to fighting. me, Sifu. So I think yeah. it's like, oh. So let's listen to these yep. ones, yeah. Because I'm guessing yep. this is Based the Based on the look, but yeah. yeah, we don't know. What kind of world do I want you to grow up in? Not this oh, world. maybe not. Oh, that's right after. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, let's... Let's listen to that one for sure. Branda, I've arranged the meeting with the astronomer. Miguel, look at what I just sent you. It's important. Okay. Right after that. Um, why is this drawing important, Branda? Oh. Okay, so maybe... Mm. Well, I thought I was smart for a minute. Nope. <laughs> not for Fun a single fact. second did I think that. Do not, not. move. Do not move. Run! That sounds like it goes with the spaceship. It yeah, I think that sounds yeah. right there. I think that's good. What else might we be? So we think this is. Could this be involved? Yeah. Scar for maybe the picture of the hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Give that back! Maybe? Give it back! Oh, let it have it. No way! Let her have it. What could go wrong? What's wrong with the monkey having your weapon? Ooh. How did the monkey cause the disease? Why does everyone always blame the monkeys? And then we need to take a disease of Paul who just got bit by the monkey. Did it say Paul? Did it I didn't. miss that? No. Making things We're filling up. in the gaps. I'm inferring information. Uh, 43 degrees. Oh, I speak in Fahrenheit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know that's, if anyone wants to do some that's math That's a fever, for us real right? Quick. It sounds off. Okay, let's take the hospital. Hey, 
geschehen wird. This might go after that of the whole like I don't know what world I want you to grow up in. Maybe, thing. yeah. Possibly. Okay. Um, I just listen to all these. Maybe like, oh, point, yeah. okay, because I'm pretty with the time gaps. We heard that at the end of something. This? The end of that one, yeah. Right? Yep. Okay. I just want to hit push the big red button. I know we want to push the big red button. I want to button. button. It's Kill big the and it's red and glowing. <laughs> you want to push it. I, it's designed to be pushed. Sefu, Ooh. stop that a minute while I put this on. It will sting. Oh, in future, stay away from those boys. Oh, very high fever. In the future, stay away from those boys. Yeah, because the kids were picking fighting. on them. Yeah, yeah, because there could be a time gap there. Yeah. Okay. After this, we've heard everything, right? The big red box. We have big all big the information. Box. This is what you said for. Right? Okay. Oh, so I wonder if this is it, because this is where she talks about what kind of world do I want him to grow up in. Look at the picture I just sent you. Countdown, countdown. Maybe. Okay. Hit the button. Press the what do you button. Think? Do, 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 press the button. Sure. Do, do we want to listen to those in order and see, or? Because, yeah, if we, if we know that these three are out, then that kind of helps right. make the other Can ones Can we listen easier. to this one again? Sorry. Yep. What kind of one do I want you oh, to Oh, that was the one with the countdown. So is it that? Because that's uh, the one that started the countdown. Yeah. That one had the 600, right? The, the, the USB, the blue USB. What did this go down to? 400. What kind of world do I want you to grow up in? Not this one. Three. Okay, and then the red button was that started at two. What did this one have? What kind of world do I want you to grow up in? Not this one. Oh, you did you the same one. I was going to one. Oh. Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. Okay. Five. Four. No one. And so then the red be. button started at yeah. two, and then she. Okay, nixed so it. what. Did this have a count? Yeah, let's listen to yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm again. thinking that was. Because this was jungle noises and monkey. And that was, was kids kid fighting. fighting. I think it's this one. Fibris and Sephu. Huh. Miguel was wrong. That isn't Fibris. Fibris is something else entirely. Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Please tell me the data will be uploaded in time, Ramla. Yes, with only minutes to spare, but it will be. Oh, this is uploading data. I'll leave yeah. you to it. Oh, it's uploading data, which is yeah, yeah which we're hearing. So, are we good sense. with that? Yeah, I'm good. I, I, All I right, good. let's do this let's thing, do chicken wing. It. Oh, jeez, I missed this one again. Hold on. Start over. David, I don't know what field of work uh, you have, but he said that they had a truck full of lab monkeys escape in his area about two months ago. That sounds uh, terrifying. That is terrifying. Yeah. Chapter solved. Woo! Zoop, 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 zoop. My oh, best boy. friend just had to put down a bunch of chickens in a research facility. So chickens are bad, too. Am I on the other side of the wall now? Yes. People are going there for safety. But you're not here, mommy. No. I have a job to do, but it, it'll be okay. The drones will keep us safe, won't they? What do you mean? Mine follows me all the time. Are they guarding us? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, sweetheart. <laughs> that, that must be it. <laughs> Oh, she's crying. Listen, I, I need to bad. go. But I love you, Sefu. Love you, mommy. <laughs> bye, bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Fibris and Sefu, huh? Miguel was wrong. That isn't Fibris. Fibris is something else entirely. Incoming call. Hello, Miguel. Please tell me the data will be uploaded in time, blah, blah. Yes, with only minutes to spare, but it will be. Oh, good. I'll leave you to it. Ten, six hundred. Ten, five hundred. 
What kind of boy do I want you to grow up in? Not this one. This is for you, Sifu. Data deleted. Missile launch aborted. Goodbye, Fibris. Meteor destroyed the world? I do not like that noise. Okay. All right. Sound design on this is really good, by the way. Yeah. That was. Yeah, I, I am impressed like with the app, like the way it scans, the it's very smooth. I know more companies are trying to get to where you can just scan images, they don't have to have like, right, like codes QR and code. Stuff. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. it's it's worked pretty well. Alright, so what one do we want to tackle? So it sounded like this didn't this is her sending an image of something. Whereas this is they were actually fighting, and the fights. Mm -mm. Is this at the end? Is it maybe? Might be Possibly. At the end, yeah. Let's listen to him again. Can yeah. We go with that. <laughs> Give it to me, Sifu. No, it's mine. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, they're fighting. Run. I'm thinking it's like that. Because this one she's saying, don't hang out with those boys anymore. anymore. And then she yeah. sent the picture to somebody, so really it's just... Trying to figure out the order right. of those two. Right, yeah. Because this is her telling someone oh, about shoot. the experience, right? One. Yeah, that's her and calling... The uh, and this is the one, the him yells. telling her about it. Sefu. Oh, and he's drawing. Stop that he's a minute while I put this on. Yeah. Well, sting. Oh yeah, he's drawing. Yeah, oh. you can hear him drawing. In future, stay away from those boys. Uh. Yeah, yeah. And then he's drawing, so then that one. Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, we'll do it. So. So. Then we have to put all these in order. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be the challenge. Yeah. Yes, guys. We, we are, are so on five. top of it. Five. Five for five. <sighs> It's better than fight for fighting. No, I like fight for fighting. Not it's better anymore. Than Do not move. Do not move. Run! Ooh. Sefu, drawing. Stop that a minute while I put this on. It will sting. Oh! In future, stay away from those boys. Are the drones good, mommy? Yes. Fibris made them to help us. You Sweet. made Fibris stop bad things happening, didn't you? Because that's your job, mommy. To stop bad things. Yes, sweetheart. That is mommy's job. So this is before, because she's... Uh, I've arranged the meeting with the astronomer. Miguel, look at what I just sent you. It's important. Okay. Um, why is this drawing important, Ramla? I asked Sefu what it shows. He said the kids were fighting and drones came to stop them. Sefu got away, but those other kids, they haven't been sent since. Why would Fibris oh. do that? The same reason she's taking people who break the law. She's trying to eliminate crime and disorder. But we don't know what she's doing with the people she takes, Miguel. Fibris tackling crime has been going down well with governments, but obviously this is too far. She needs to take a more reasonable approach. But first, get her working on the asteroid. It's not being made public, but... I've just been told it's traveling much faster than anticipated. It's going to hit in just a few weeks. All right. So this is her before. All right. So, uh, so is it that red ship one, and then this one up here with the asteroid? That's what I'm wondering. And then it goes so to the one. Order just underneath it. 
Then it goes to the one where with the the Fitbit phone the call, where he's like, "Okay, this is really getting out of hand." It was back uh, over some, so it's on camera. Maybe. And then this one, we didn't know where it went. Yeah, with the disease. Oh, hold this, this one is probably first. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. This one's got to be first because this well, is the inspiration. Let's get for these in order first. How about that? And then we'll have everything. And then we have to Kay. put the six chapters all in. Yeah. Order. Okay. All right. So this is monk. Do we need to listen to monkey? We know what that is, right? Yeah, we know what that one is. Yeah. The next one was monkey. It, he got bit. Give it to them. He got bit. He had a high fever. High fever. Oh yeah, yeah, very high fever. And then hospital. I mean, that, we feel good it about looks that. Looks in order. All right. Uh, well, the, can we just listen to these two? Uh, one of them you is, can. I will. I don't need to. You can just talk during all of it. Okay. So this is where he gets a really high fever, but it's in Celsius, and we tra had it in Fahrenheit for the chat. Which, yeah. if I know anything about Fahrenheit, that's uh, 212. I'm thinking you know nothing about Fahrenheit. He's boiling. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good? We All right. Taught. Let's do it! Okay. Oh, we whoops, got... hold on. I gotta go to solve. That one is on me. So is this the first one, then? Yes. Before... Oh. Because this is the inspiration to make the... Oh. To make the vaccine. So this has got to be very first. Ironic. I thought it was the last All one. chapters solved. Listen to chapter, scan chapter markers to, to listen later. You can now s solve the complete story. Here's the whole thing. Do, 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 do. I'm out in the forest looking for bugs to eat. What could go wrong? That one's blue. It looks tasty. That one's red. It's made of meat. <laughs> the blue one's the tasty one, huh? The non me one? Give it back! Oh, let it have it. No way! Give me back my 9 millimeter. <laughs> Give me back my necktie. <laughs> A scarf. Time lapse. 43 degrees Celsius. I haven't seen a disease like this. 113. Almost like 217. <laughs> Give or take, a hundred. <laughs> give or take, give or take, you know, death. Okay, all chapters solved. I'm going to agree with Zach. I haven't seen the third Planet of the Apes movie, but the, the, the new ones are incredible. I truly haven't seen the third one. Yeah, but the second one was, was, was top tier, top notch. So I'm thinking this is the very first one. Uh-huh. And then mm -hmm. that, uh, she that makes inspires Rob. Two, three, four, five, six. We want to do it? I mean, we've been. I'm not sure if this one's in front of that one, but I'm. That's my guess, right? Because he says we got to work on the asteroid problem. And then we go into the asteroid problem. Mm -hmm. Then Simulation. we find out about the drone problem. Then we hit the button. Or we cancel. I see what you're saying. Because this world. one could be yeah. before. Because he's like, hey, we got to get back to the asteroid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because they already know about the asteroid problem, whereas they here they didn't know about it. Do we want to listen to the beginning of this conversation again and see if it gives us any clue? Sure. Okay. Hey, thank you, Matthew. Hey. Matthew Dunstan in the chat. Oh, nice. So I don't think it gives us anything, do you? I, mean, I can keep people sitting if you want. It's just the whole chapter is going to play. Yeah. At, can at, you fast forward? No. Oh, I can five go five seconds. seconds. Yeah, yeah I think that two decks. That's our last chance to deflect it. If it gets within ten thousand kilometers, impact is certain. Because the next part they say like we need Febris, don't we? Yeah. Oh, does she say that at the end? We I think she says that at the end. We have yet the exact entry point of the asteroid is detected. If this thing hits, it will be catastrophic. Only Febris will be able to compute the data in time yeah. and aim the rockets to deflect it completely. We will reduce the damage immensely, and we'll still have Febris. Uh, yes. He... Yes, we will. I don't know, but she seems oh, kind of in despair. Oh, she does. She's like, yeah, we'll still have Febris. Uh, yeah, ooh. Ooh, you and might so be right. she might know information from I that think you up might there. Right. Yeah. yeah, all and right. And afterwards, she's like, this is way, getting way too spooky. Hold. And then right. at the end, she's like, she hits yeah. the button. Hit let's the do button. it. Push the button. All right, so let's try the chapters. I'm assuming it's six. Yes, that's what we scan. One. Do you want to end? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it's gonna be as awkward as possible. But you have Perfect. the honor of the All last right. one. The final <laughs> countdown. So, let's see. Okay. Chapter order incorrect. Only three chapters are in the correct position. Ah! Oh, dang. Whoa! Only three. Okay, right, we feel comfortable with this one. Right? Mm hmm. As the first. If are you breathing? That was an impressive pause. Three of them are correct. So how does what that work? What if this hopped, mm, hopped down to here? That would move two up. And that would switch those three? That would mean, because that would mean this one, this one, and the last one were are correct. Are correct. Oh, and I feel so the most confident one, about that. This one comes that one all down, the way down to here? Maybe. Because Ooh. at the end of this one, he's like, Beavers is here to help, right? Or something like that. And she's crying. And she's like... No, where is he crying about it? Or she's crying about it when she's talking to him down here. No. This is when she's... This is countdown. Hitting okay. the button. Where she's talking to him at one point on the phone. And no, because that's Miguel. Um, I think... And she's like crying. She's... Yeah, you're right. Here to help. Oh, yeah. Where is that one? Is that the kid one? Good one. She's not or is it? Know. Or is it this? It's one? not. This is like one of the first ones we did, and we hadn't heard from it him is. yet. And that's one of the first ones we did too. Right. Is it in here? I think we could deduct. Oh, is it the beginning this of this one? Let's. Because three of them are correct. Um, am I on the other side of the wall now? Yeah. Oh yeah. I have a job to do, but in mindful. Yes, sweetheart. Yeah. So uh, this is where he's, she's crying. Um, how does she feel about Fubris in that top one? Does she? She seem was okay because like he's like Fubris is here to help or something like that. She's like, oh, that's a little odd. Like, right? Yeah, that's why like is she hanging first... out with the? Because at the end of that one, she's like, Fubris is like starting to like beat up criminals. Oh, hold up. I feel like I feel good about these two. Unless this one came before Phoebus had her like real announcement unveiling. Possible. And that would move one, two, three, and the others one, two, three are correct. Yeah. Okay. Moving that one up, you mm -hmm. think? Okay, so this one first. And then the two, two, three, three, four, four five, five, six. Because that would change up the order of three of them. Right. And the other three would yeah. be okay. the same. Let's see. Let's gamify this. I'm gonna hand it to you, Wendy, let you do those that are, is that? Yeah. Okay, which one did I miss? Hold on. Oh, no, you... Oh, okay, I, no. You, that's not a chapter card, this one is. No, it is, it has the white border. So it's, here, let's just move them. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, yeah, that was right. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't, that was weird. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Three are in the correct position. All right, still. Chat. Oh, what do they Ooh, think? What do you think? Yeah. And before she hit the button. Yeah, they were talking when I was trying to figure out when she was distraught. They were helping there. This yeah. clearly was the end. And that's Is clearly this, the this one? Did we get these mixed up? We got these mixed up. That's that one. That like that, was, right. Okay, yeah. This was our yeah. first guess. Okay, was our first guess. All right. But only three of them were correct. When we swapped those three, still only three were correct. Or unless one correct one went to a wrong position. Well, no, because they yeah. all three changed. Mm. So if I think this it is one hops three. down, then it could be. We didn't try that one yet. Wh uh, which one? Okay. Putting the rocket yeah. down here, the kid story. Ooh. I don't think it makes sense to put the like, because this was where she's like, oh my gosh, Phoebus is really massacring people. Yeah. I think that one would have to go after the rocket ship one, right? Hmm. Toy next to the last statue because she knew about the drone killing the others. That's what the chat is saying here. That's what I was thinking, yeah. That's yeah, move think? number four and three is what they're saying too. So move that mm. down, which was our first thing, right? Like yeah. that? You wanna try, try that? It. Okay. All right. I'll give you that line, I'll just do these up here. <laughs> it's her next, yeah. You wanna take it? What are we on? This one? This one. No. Oh, uh, this one. Yeah, no, three. Yeah, yeah there. this one. Let's see 
what it says. Only three are correct. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> all right, let's see. Jungle, name badge, Fitbit, toy, computer screen, statue. Should we let's see what rabbit fly, rabbit fly got it? Let's try it. Let's do it. Huh. For the glory or the fall, rabbit fly. <laughs> but if it's glory, just remember I was captain. <laughs> <laughs> I missed one. Hold on. You missed this. You didn't get this Two. one. Two. Nope, I didn't get up here. Yep, I've missed the, uh -oh, the Fitbit. The... Also, not a Fitbit, but we're going to go with it. We're calling it a Fitbit. Story song. Woo! There we go. Good job, All Rabbit right, fly. congratulations, Rabbit Fly, captained by me. You have solved the mystery. Press and play to the entire epilogue. Woo. That's the story. I know what caused the darkness. Yes, Motivated monkeys. Motivated by the desire to make a better world for a son, Ramla created the artificial intelligence Phoebus. Phoebus was supposed to keep humanity safe, but over time, Ramla had growing doubts about what she had done. Phoebus was showing no regard for human life. And then, later, she began forcing people to obey her commands. Oh. And those who did not simply disappeared. Whoops. As Phoebus grew more powerful, Ramla realized she could no longer control her own creation. But she had little time to think about this before she was given a new task. Phoebus had to be given the data required to prevent an asteroid hitting Earth. While the data was uploading, Ramla looked at the photo of her son and paused. This might be the last and only chance to end Phoebus before she dominated the world. But was it worth the immense cost? What kind of world did she want her son to grow up in? In that second, Ramla made her choice. And hit and the button. The asteroid hit, Phoebus was destroyed, and Earth was plunged into years of darkness. You feel tears coming to your when in doubt, eyes kill everybody. this immense revelation. That's what we take away. You are here, a free individual, because of that terrible decision Ramla was forced to make. Looking around the room, you realize this place gives you access to the lost knowledge of human civilization. The knowledge that led to medicine, space travel, computers, the internet, and Phoebus. With what is here, you have the chance to rebuild what was lost. Can you do it right this time? See Garcia's first line of board games. It's a game in which there are monkeys. Blame the monkeys. It held true in this one. Yeah. So, we all right. Blame the monkeys. All right. Well, that was Echoes, specifically the microchip. I think they have three different games now. So, uh, be sure to check them out. And there is a contest for this. So, go back to the beginning of the video to get the details on that. And until next time, I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Chris Yee. And stick around because here in a few minutes, we will be playing 25 words or less. It'll be the whole gang. So, see you in a few.
Spectacular. Can they hear me now, Roy? Yes. Hey, Can hello everybody. Now? Welcome back to our continuing spectacular. Oh, I'm going down. I was way too tall. <laughs> You're always yeah. too tall. Too tall, Tom. Bring it down a notch or six. Uh, we're going to be playing 25 words or less. My name is Z Garcia. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Roy Kenny. I'm Camilla Clayhorn. And I'm Mike Delisio. In this uh, game. <laughs> Echo. Echo. <laughs> Echo. Echo. You know, I wanted to make it, make it laugh. I liked it. Thank you. In this game, we're going to be splitting up into two teams. In fact, we already did that. We're alternating teams. So it'll be things. Roy, Wendy, Mike, which leaves Tom, myself, and Camilla. Mm. And we are going to be competing to earn ten of these cards first. The way this works is we'll pick one person from each team. They'll look at some words on here. So, for example, this one says, so is five oh, words. that's oh. a good one right there. Oh, says, green uh, oh, the green screen was on. You just had to go down and click it off. Yeah, that's oh, fine. That's fine. We can no, do, we do that. that. Yeah, we're good with that. Very scary. Uh, mm. that, that, that cup uh, mm. holder is a little terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good looking cup holder. Cover the cup holder. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. definitely <laughs> still a fake Christmas tree stuff in there. Yeah. There we go. All right, so we've got on there a few words. Right, what do we got on there, Tom? Do we want the actual green? Accelerator, yeah. gratitude, yeah. diced. Uh huh. Save the date and camel. Okay. And then the two people would bid. To see how many words they can use to get their team to to guess all of those. So you might say, okay, I can do it in 24 words or less. Then the other person goes, I can do it in 22. And so on until someone backs off. If yeah, for this particular 15, one. 15, you know, you'll just. Chris, sorry. I'm, yeah. Chris, for this particular one, let's leave it on us for almost the whole game. Yeah, this won't matter yeah, as much, really. Yeah. Um, somebody backs off, the other person goes, okay, fine, do it, and then they'll try to get it. They, they win, they get the card, they fail, the other team gets the card, right? I think is what it is. And uh, you just try to get to 10. Mm. Mm. The things Force you the should do. Low, steal the All right, should do. You should do. The right. do. Okay, that was really loud. Wow. That would been a hard You're okay, word. right? Yeah. 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 Wow. You hurt yes. yourself. This is, uh, this is plutonium right here. Oh my wow. goodness me, you are basically Green Lantern. That's correct. Do wow. give clues for the answers on the card in any order. You don't have okay. to do it in that oh, okay. order. Okay. Uh -huh. Do use the word blank, as in New York blank. Mm. I, what, what, what Pizza. City. City, right? Yeah. yeah. Do use voice inflection and leading phrases, uh -huh. as in bread and... Butter. butter. Cheese? Oh. Bread sticks? And, bread and butter. <laughs> bread and sticks. Do say great. pass if you get stuck and need to move to another answer. I'm assuming we're not going to count the word pass against what you. What if you want to use pass as a clue? <laughs> Dad, you gotta make sure that's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Guess! Do, do Pass. listen to your guessers. Blank. It says, do listen to your guessers. It's okay to point or say correct so when the guess is end is correct. Okay, so you can be okay. like, that, give me more of that got kind it. of thing. Okay, got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. All right. Leave. That's it. The room. Leave the room. What about like that one you had was it said save the date or something like that? Could you say RSVP? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I guess so. Is that four words? It's four letters. It's not even letters. a word. So don't. Use phrases uh, like rhymes with or right. sounds like. Right. Oh. Don't use gestures. Mm -hmm. You can, I guess, do the whole encouraging someone. But, mm -hmm. uh, and okay. then don't use part of the answer in your clue. Like You of cannot course. say vice fires for fireman. Hey, you know what would be a great clue? Contest. <gasps> Ooh. That's a good one. I'm yeah. guessing that what you're attempting to say is uh, we have a contest oh. for this game. Oh. Wait, I think oh. he used the clue and the answer together. All right, well, yeah. I'll keep the card, RSV. but I'm still going to offer the contest. Sounds great. <laughs> we have a contest for this game, 25 words or less. You can win one of two copies worldwide. Ooh. All you have to do to enter that is email us at contest.dicetower.com. In the subject line, you're going to write the word less, and you will be entered to win this party game that you're about to witness. So stick around, watch it, enter, and uh, good luck to you. You just might walk away with one of these two copies. Yeah. Oh, now they can't use a less than symbol, right? It has to be the words less. Just that is correct. Clarify. Okay, keep that math junk out of my house. That's right. Out of here. We don't want to. This is a Trash. this is a language game, not a math game. Mm -hmm. All right, we are ready to start. Who wants to be? Uh, who wants to be the first two uh, two clue givers? Me and Roy. You oh, and yeah. Roy. Oh, all right, well, All draw right. yourselves a random card there. Pick which side you want to play with. Oh, we pick? Well, let's go with... Um, no, what if they don't oh. decide? Are you guys always it? doing dark side or the darker side or the lighter well, side? The light side. Lighter side. Rebel okay. or uh, the Empire? 
Okay, the and, lighter side. And the so, empire. what all are we allowed to say when we do these? Anything you want. Anything you, you want. Just, just, just went over them for like adults. approximately yeah. eight minutes. Mm -hmm. This she guy. Likes rubber bands. Who starts with the uh, the? Yeah, who starts the bidding? Oh, here we go. Ooh. These guys, they're gamers. You know, the these guys are gamers. Um. The last person to The team who set up the game bids first, so Tom, you're first. That's right! After that, teams alternate after that. 20 words, Roy. 20? Tom says he can do it in 20. There's also a time limit, by the way. Oh, What? Yeah. Wow. The stress. The stress is the point, yeah. How many times do we get to guess? Is it just like... We can guess as much as we want, right? I'm gonna say... Fifteen. Oh, Roy, coming strong. No, I what? support your decision. Fourteen. Oh. What? Why does he have so much faith in us? I don't know what's going Thirteen. On. Twelve. Oh. Whoa. Do you believe in love after love? There's only five <laughs> words, you know. <laughs> five words. Right. Are you saying it twelve, Tom? Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. How many guess how many guesses are they allowed to have when they're guessing back? They can guess as much as they want because the timer. Okay. Stay low, Roy, until I'm gonna say ten. Tom takes it. Ten. Oh, oh that's yours at ten. Okay then. Good. All right. All right, Roy, you got it. You ready? Oh, I'm holding the car. What do you okay, mean? Okay. Here we go. You ready? We got this. Okay. And you got you, Roy. Go. Um that's a word. Wet. Water. Ocean. Um <laughs> drinks. Wet. Um liquid. Water, liquid. Fog. Rain? Rain? Um, wet fog. Sleet. Um, weather? Bad weather? Inclement weather? Go to the next one. Um, old. Ancient? Granny. Oh my goodness. Old. <laughs> uh, past. Um, Teachers. Elderly. <laughs> got it. Elderly. elderly. Okay, so oh, we got nice. one. Nice. Three. That's my stomach. Um, door. Slam. Close. Shut. Open. Got it. Um, noodles. Food. Spaghetti. Pasta. Pasta. Wheat. Um, uh, a new, uh, uh, uh macaroni. macaroni and cheese. A spaghetti. Noodles. Uh, pasta. Uh, lasagna. Thai. Farfalle. Italian food. Uh, Cheap. Oh, ramen. Oh, ramen. Okay, silly. Putty. Wacky. Silly. Time. Clowns. Right. You're out of time. Right. I mean, yeah, words, you have though. to get the whole thing. Yeah, you have to get the whole thing. Oh, there were two few words. You had four more words. To use. Oh, I was trying to, yeah. I was trying to have them guess a bunch of things yeah. and then yeah. use a word Not afterwards. Words. Oh, wet, yeah, yeah. wet, and fog. It was moisture. That's a tough word. Uh, I know that was the one word that was going to be the hardest. The other one was serious, so I didn't. Okay. S well, I said silly. I Why? You could have said so, silly. Well, you that's said, what I would have done. Or you could have said there. silly. Oh, so, so that was my two words. Yeah. You could do I that, right? I you could say silly. Play this I might have gone to ten, but there was no way I was doing nine. No, you did good. Yeah. Well, I mean, those were hard words. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel like moisture was going to be the hardest moisture one. Was yeah, that's why you don't want to keep it that too low, so we get the card then. Yeah, we get it, right? That's fine. Sponge? That was a practice round. No, that's not. Yeah, but... I mean, all right, so now that's us, yeah. Wendy, you yeah. and I. All right. all right, let's do this thing. It's so always those side. two, always those two, always us. Mike, I think so. We never go us two. Okay. I don't think so, right? No, I'm not oh. looking at Tom. I have well. no idea. I'm looking at the chat. Ravioli. Ramen. I'm going to say, <laughs> I start now? Oh yes, chat. Yes. Chat, please right, don't actually answer the question. The, the, you start well, now, I guess yeah. you could. All right, we're not yeah, looking at Yeah, we shouldn't be looking at that. I'm going to say 18. Woo! All right, Wendy, starting out with 18. How's that make you feel, Z? <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Whoa! Are you gonna give her 18 words? Yeah, come yeah. on, yes. Wendy. We got this. We're gonna win by not playing. Okay. Oh, man. No All okay. right. You ready? All right. Well, can you slide over just a okay. bit, so... Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Okay. I don't wanna excellent. Here we go. Protect teeth. Brush, oh. floss, um, a, a, a crown. Sports. Um, oh, oh, mouth guard. Is that, yep, one? Is that right? It. Okay. Okay, um, coconut, chocolate. Mounds, Almond Joy, coconut, chocolate? Um, 3.14. No, oh. 3.14, that's a lot of words. Oh, pie? You said that? Yeah, she I did. did. I did, I said 3.14, okay. Wow, okay, pie, okay. 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 Well, you're just what? looking at me. No, What's the next specifically. One? Chocolate specifically. cream pie? Specifically, Co chocolate, Co coconut. If you repeat, they count. What? No, it does. Wow. Oh. It does. Well, then there's no way. Man. 
Um, well, yeah, they did things clear on the line. Instead of just like, you're going. It doesn't matter. You're going to run out of time. Specifically, though, does that count? It doesn't matter. You could have all 18 again. All right, line. <laughs> no way. Boston Ooh, cream pie. pie. No I knew that I could pass on that. There's no coconut. In there. There's no coconut Boston cream yeah. pie. I thought there was totally coconut. No, was a, I, I would not eat it if no, there was coconut. It's just, it's just basically the just one time I had it, I didn't like it because there was coconut in it. No. Your life has been a lie. Yeah, you got wrong. You got. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Boston cream on? pie was enough for me to just pass on this. Yeah, that's oh. terrible. Although you, because you. I would have said Massachusetts dessert, maybe, right? And yeah, that's terrible. Like that. that's, that's, fair. that's terrible. That's terrible. That's I mean, that's a hard word. I, There's no way I. You know what I want to do that. right now is pause I, this game and uh -huh. eat a Boston cream pie. I, I, I love I'm Boston cream pie. I'm actually really sad that I don't like it. They're so there's good. No, there's, there's no, no coconut. coconut. There's there's boo coconut. Because I actually coconut. like coconut. Huh? Now. Boo coconut. You don't like coconut in general? No. What? Coconut's delicious. You're wrong. Coconut's okay. Coconut's not. I hate everything about coconut. What is? Boston cream pie? Have you ever had a Boston, uh, Boston cream donut? Is that the yeah. yellow one? That's the one with the yellow ones. Those are my favorite. Cream, yellow one? Cream, cream yellow yeah. with a chocolate. It's that. It's, it's just a big just a pie. cake. It's not a pie either. It's yeah, actually it's a, cake. a cake. It's definitely a cake. It's a cake. Oh, man. It's filled with cream and has a chocolate yeah. hard cover. And it's a, and it's no a yellow cake. cake it's so a yellow cake. There's no coconut. It's a yellow cake. That's amazing. I'm so sorry. Anyways, how do you play this game again? cream in between it, yeah. When you introduce someone to a new food and you do something different to it, you need to tell them. Right. My wife didn't eat taco salad for years because her mom put Catalina dressing in it, and she I thought that's what taco salad was. See, if I had gotten Boston cream pie, I would have said sriracha as a guess because that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you always put that's on. The, that's the number All right. one ingredient. Yeah. Delicious. All right, me and you. It's All right, so now, right? before oh, we keep oh, going, oh, 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 oh yeah, well, the rules, the rules will be cool. default. So we want to make sure wow. that people yeah. get words like if you say if you keep talking. Okay. Do they count? Do they not count? Do I need to remember what you said? Also, you were like, you didn't, you were very strict about like the words you said. And I was like, Tom got distracted. I didn't say them over and over I did get distracted. Least. Hang on, I'm looking up some news. Yeah, you didn't oh, say like, I'm distracted by the chat news. Mm -hmm. What is happening right now? I don't know. So, Cosmic the question that we're project. having is, oh, Cosmic yeah. Account. Well, the um, question is, important, the judge counts every every clue word you say, even if you repeat words already spoken. Only the words past, correct, and but yes. Again, it's clue. But counts. what if you okay. said like but, so specifically? But if I go like, like clue, but it was donkey, 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 right. is that you just count, one? No, you count all. Well, no, I think it says you count all. It does, but do we want to then make a judgment call on as that? As long as we know the rules. As long as we know the rules, that's fine. I think, yeah. I think we should probably be careful as clue givers to not. I think we should be more exact about giving yeah, our okay. clues. Yeah. I right. think we should try to wait, stick to that. Wait a judge, Mike. So that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Look, wait I'm, I'm just saying so the, we, the opposite we, we thing forces this. whoever's doing this right. to remember that's what, what I'm was saying. said. I think right. we should yeah. not make it and hard. Just on those do. People. I'd say everything. Just if you're a clue giver, be very careful. Yeah, you point to all the rules. Three point one four. As soon as I said it, I was like, oh man. So are we doing? Are we decided if we're doing the light or the dark side? It you was the lighter. Light, right? oh, we're doing yeah. the light yeah, okay. You guys go ahead and look at that. Oh, I need, a, I need this. You are Jedi's. Ooh. Well, oh, not, Daryl's oh, wife who, does the Catalina Who does the first? Uh, who bids so now first? it goes back who says to Daryl. Camille. Okay. Daryl Shannon. I'm sorry, Daryl, that I, I can't say anything more negative about it, but it's an abomination of humans. Um. Ah, oh, Catalina Daryl. I haven't had Catalina dressing since I was a kid. Jeez. And it, what they do is they they, they make the they make taco salad. Starting? Catalina no, dressing. You're, you're doing oh, the first. Right? Right? Yeah. No, no, she hasn't. Did she hasn't chosen it. Kid. I'll say. Or is it just so, like taco mm -hmm. meat? Is twenty. Stuff? Yeah, it's, 20. A, it's just abomination. Um, nineteen. Hmm. Nineteen. Seems like it'd make it really sweet. You got this. You love word games, Camilla. Yeah, these are my favorite. Take um, I will do seven. Pass! I just wanted her to go. <laughs> I didn't finish it! Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah they, they, they need that. a time to actually get right, so uh, it. Oh, oh, we in! Goodness. I'm playing finally! Uh, right no, 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 no. uh, I didn't want to do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't want words. to do Okay. All right. Ready? Sleep. Good night. Uh, uh, dream. Timer. Blanket. Dream. Uh, nighttime. Nightmare. Tired. Rest. Shaving. Rest. Um, it was rest? Yes. yes. Poor. Poverty. Broke, uh, broke, uh, No coin. That's two. Penniless. Penniless. Yes. Oh, good. Um, alligator. Crocodile. Crocodile. Yes. Um, sick. Ill. Ill. Illness. Medicine. Doctor. 
Um, on well. Coronavirus. Um, a virus. Continually. Fever. Um, oh, uh, I'll take it down for continually. Oh, yeah, Bacteria. Uh, chronic. Illness. Chronic. Cron. Uh, uh, somebody sick all the time is um, uh, somebody sick a long time. Convalescent. Um, hospital. Stay. You got plenty more words. Chronic illness. Um, um, okay. Switch. Girl. Or you're switching. Okay. Uh, woman, child, uh, female, boy. Okay, and then group. Boy band. Yes. All right. Oh, All right. Ah, disease. Ah. Oh, more safer disease. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, okay. 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 Actually, the yeah. funny thing okay. is, the word that I thought would be tougher was penniless, but that, that was. Oh, boy band weird. is the one that I was like. I would have said backstreet. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> I already know. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Backstreet. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. All right. All right. So we get this one. You want to keep it right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, we get points. Ah. Uh, Can you I'm leave that one in the middle? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Here. Is uh, that what you're looking for? A little off to this side. There we go. There you go. Okay. Move the light side. No one's got me if I got in the wall. Good I know. Right. <laughs> We're being too aggressive. Well, actually, the time is the, the problem. Time is the time is. Yeah. It's not the words. Twelve. Oh my gosh. When I was told about this game, I was told it was three words. Five words, words is a lot different than three words. Oh, yeah, okay. You know. Oh, oh. So it's, well, it's, it's 25. Two more. It's two <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was really confused. I was like, 25. Okay, yeah, you can have it. You can have it. I was trying to figure out. Because yeah. yeah, 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 if you count up all the words, it will take a long time. Oh, okay. I'm well, no, I'm not counting up all the words. I'm just trying to okay, figure out ready? where so you're getting We're in, stuck. you're doing this then. Okay. We're at 12? Okay. Okay. Go. Swimsuit. Bathing. Uh, swimming. Swim. Uh, no, Competition. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Model. Beach. Model. Small. Bikini. Um. Mm. Turn car. Signal. Signal. The switch. Wheel. Drive train. Quickly. Curve. Swerve. Swerve. Woven container. Basket. How many words I got? Left? Five. Five. Dorothy dog. Toto. Toto. Poker. Cards, uh, bidding, uh, gambling. Game. Clothing. One more word. Poker clothing? Poker clothing. Sunglasses? No. Off. Strip poker. Uh, strip. Strip. Is that all of them? Boom! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Bikini. Did uh, it. I did swing suit. I was going to say Got Speedo. It. I thought you were thinking oh. Speedo. Well, yeah, someone knows yeah. how to play this game. Just yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Toto was easy because we just played right? <laughs> Wizard of Oz. That's a reference that I got, too. You or a did. book, oh, book reference. Oh, I got to so back over here so I don't see the go. You ready? Let's do this, mm. Z. Ooh, this is a stressful game, though, when you're giving the clues. Mm. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure. Because mm -hmm. you can't do too much. Right. Who starts the bit here? Who started over there with you Tom guys? Did. Tom okay. started the bit. So do we first. always start it? No, oh, it's me again? Okay. I don't think we're, like, all training, I'm going to say 18. I'll say 17. Sixteen. Everyone's no talking 15. about that taco sound now. <laughs> they have been. They would not stop. Fifteen. <laughs> All, right. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> oh, oh are we in? What? Ready? Oh, I'm not used to playing this much. <gasps> okay. okay, calm down. No. Mistake. Error. Yes. Um, Alicia. <laughs> hey now. Uh, driver. Baby. Fancy. Chauffeur. Yes. Mm. Um, Jeeves. <laughs> Not bold. Not timid. Bolt. Did you say bolt or bold? Bolt. Wait, bolt, nut, that, screw. Oh, really screw. Know. Okay. Um, I asked him to clarify the word, that's all. Blank purse. Man purse? Cut purse. Pennies. Coin purse. Coin. Um, Coin. Um, hire. Employ. Yes, that's it. That's all. Wow. What? <laughs> Six words yeah, to yeah. scare. Man. All right, Mike. Almost. You got this. All right. That's ours, baby. I so we're, we're I'm looking so at, at, the, at the light. Oh, words, right? whoa, whoa, whoa. You had half time left still. Oh, my gosh. Oh, are you baby. kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, Do it. 26 oh, words. Oh, man. <laughs> They're bidding up. Yeah. 26. 28. 30. <laughs> this way. We'll go this way. 29. <laughs> If you both say pass, pass, you can discard the card. 
You're the first one to choose, right? I'm the first to choose. But technically, if you pass, he can then say, like, I'll do it in 25. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 24. <laughs> um... Twenty-three. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, man, you'll never make it. Give it to him. I think I'm gonna give it to him. You have it, Mike. There's a couple on there. Okay. All right. You have it, Mike. Just start spilling out words, All right. Mike. Spit the words. Almost. Okay. Nothing. You ready? Go. Yes. Present. Current. Now. Time. Space. Christmas. Opposite. Oh, gift. Opposite present. Oh. oh past. past. Ghoul. Oh. Past school. Childhood? Oh. Um. Past school. <laughs> Pass. Raw pork. Um. Pig? Veal? Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Carnitas! Oh, oh. Bacon? Bacon. Did, oh, yeah. Did you hear the first word I said? <laughs> Raw. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mean tweets. Twitter. <laughs> Roast. <laughs> Got no chance. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> the Rock. Rock. <laughs> um, late on. night host. Late night host? Uh, party? Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. Oh, there we go. Raw pork. Bacon. Chip. Meat. You're out of time. <laughs> Salmonella. Raw. Eggs. Raw. Eggs. Raw. Eggs. Raw. Eggs. Raw. Eggs. Raw. I had Jimmy Kimball though for yeah, being tweets. Yeah, yeah, I knew yeah, that I was, one. And you didn't even try electrician, did you? No, because uh, yeah, I was, I was absent. Like, <laughs> the opposite of present is absent. Absent, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that oh, present. Oh, that present. That's the problem. That's the problem. Here. No, 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 that goes to the Not. Oh, that was hard. Yeah. You could have said missing or something like that. Maybe, yeah. Everybody's yeah. a backseat driver. Yeah. Everybody's got to be a backseat driver. Oh, Here we go. Dang. 12. No, we did not say that. <laughs> I'm a 12 right now. Who's starting? Oh, yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Me? Or you? A different one. But uh, anyway, I think we're going to go the opposite of what we did last yeah. time. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Chicken. I'm going to say 24. It's just me, Rob. 20. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go 19. Mm. 18. 18? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. 18. I'll let you have it at 18. Alright, here we go. You ready? Right. I'm ready. Right ready. Let's do this. Ready? Oh. So, go! Chinese noodle. Udon? Oh. Udon. Udon. Oh. Um, Chinese specific ramen? I don't know. I egg, egg, ramen. Um, On menu. It's uh, a pad, not pad thai. Ah, uh, it's uh, uh, one, the, uh, the... Alright, pass. Come back to it. Water. Ocean, river, rate. Passing through. River, stream, lake, uh, brook, water, uh, brook. Uh, creek. 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 creek, creek, yeah. Silver. Silver, red, or river, water. Silver river Silver water, water passing, passing through, through. wading. Why? Silver. Pass. Mining. Pixar. M movie. Animated. Heroes. Bureaus. Heroes. Oh, Incredibles. Incredibles. The Incredibles. Yeah. Gray tape. Ducked. Mm. Toes. Feet. Feet. Back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um. But that's, time. I mean, I'm, we're going back. Time, time is that anyway. Yeah, oh, time. I got just, oh. All right, okay. first one is chow mein. Chow mein. Yeah, there's no oh, way. Oh, I was thinking a specific new Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I was trying to think of lo mein, chow mein. I couldn't remember that one. I, was for, I thought you get that one. Pipe, I gave I gave a bad clue for pipe. What, what was the clue? The water, water passing through gray. Passing through I was like, the water. Oh. I should have went with smoking. Silver, you should have went smoking. You should have said plumbing, yeah. you know? No, I should have just went with smoking. It was in a basket way. Air, who's keeping your cards? I'll take it. That's garbage. Yes, yeah, I know. Cards. Everyone's blowing me up for right, my sir. salmonella guess. That's all right. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Anyway. Although I will say, pig was a great answer for raw pork. Yeah, yeah I that love was that. Fantastic. <laughs> that's raw pork is yeah, yeah. that's that's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. I guess it's hilarious. It's the rawest you can get. Mm -hmm. oh, I keep moving over when it's not my. <laughs> 
Was Megan to guess first? I don't know who started. I just do it. I started here. Of what you did last time. Oh, I've remember. done it twice. It's, it's me. Okay, it's yeah. always it's always been Camilla on ours. Yeah. Um. Uh, I can't believe I didn't think about smoking a pipe. Grandpa so smokes you is like great right stuck there. In your head. Yeah, Grandpa smokes. That's awesome. Awesome. Threw me off because you guys didn't get you mate. I'm going to pass it on to <laughs> I'm 18. I was like, egg noodles. 17? Mm-hmm. You got it, Woody. You can do this. The problem is we just all went out to eat Thai last night. Oh, right. Yeah. I was like, Pad Thai. Think, right, yeah. <laughs> I said Chinese. 15. I'll do 14. Jeez. They don't want us to play. Oh. With, with the noodles thing, you should have said, like, low, you got it. like, low. All right, all right you hear that? You got awesome. it. So yeah, if you think yeah, low yeah, main, yeah. they would think chow, or part. they would think the main part, and then chow main, you know. So. All right. Ready? Tom, we're up. Okay. Place. Shopping blank. Mall. Center. Does, Does blank, blank count as a word? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mall. Stress. Shopping. No, shopping blank. Shopping cart, shopping center, it's a center shopping mall, shopping, shopping market, supermarket, yes. okay. market. Late night food, ice cream, car, Uber, DoorDash, delivery, um, food. pizza, pizza delivery, Roy. <laughs> um, <laughs> What? Roy Kennedy is on the go. Late night food. It's a food specific. What do people eat late at night? They eat uh, ice cream, uh, refrigerator, uh, late night snack. Right, but what would be also Snack. in the car? Uh, munchies. For, uh, for time, should we go to the next one? Think about it? Sure. Um, food, blanket. Pigs in a hot dog. Pigs, Pigs in a blanket. blanket. <laughs> uh, no, uh, hot dog. Blanket. Uh, tortilla. Oh. 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 Park. Time. We're out. Done. The car. What? It's a picnic. Food, blanket, park is what I said too. I heard oh, oh. food in a blanket, and that's why I was like, I know, she said food, blanket. Blanket. I was like, blanket. <laughs> <laughs> like, Not food in a blanket. Uh, I was drive through. I was getting I had drive myself through. during drive through. Drive through? Late drive night, through. drive food, drive through. I always think about getting it. Late night, food, car. car. Oh, there's a car. There's a car. car. There's I had to wait. That's why I was like, ice cream. I had drive through. There you go. That's a pre coronavirus clue. Yeah, right. <laughs> ah, ah, no, you're right. Yeah, you're That's like Uber. Dated. Clearly Uber. <laughs> you mean DoorDash? Yeah, but everybody has to drive through that yeah, now. So. And it's me first, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it and saves you some money. Right. I was just looking at the mm-hmm. delivery fees and I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go with 20. Ooh. You got this, Camilla. I 18. Oh, showing down my two. I'm I say if you're if you're heavy sighing, then just <laughs> if the sighs are heavy. 17. <laughs> Who's playing who? That's the question. Who's calling? 16. 15. 15. 15. Oh. Not really supposed to do that. What? Well, we're doing 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 like, just well, counting out the table. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm just. I'm just oh. like, yeah, you're supposed to go on gut a little bit. Yeah, I think that you I'll should. Only 14. There should be a timer on that part, the, the bidding right. part. That's what the timer is for. They say, like, look at the card, sort of look at it, and then just bid. Don't try to be like. 13. Yeah, because that's easy. I'll let you try. All right. Mm. Thirteen. Okay. This is gonna be true, guys. Mm. Right. Do it. I think it's doable. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hit it. Wedding promise. Marriage. Vows. Vow. Not stale. Um, fresh. fresh. Okay. Student. Teacher. Okay. Tannenbaum. Royal. T. Uh, tinsel. What? Yes. Christmas tree? Yes. Decorating? Yes. No, okay. I got it. Um, this is the tough one. Um, oh, no, this was the easy one. You guys can't be talking. This, this is, is the tough, tough one. one. <laughs> <laughs> this. Snakes, lattes, Board Board Game, game Cafe. Cafe, we got it. 
I'm gonna say like coffee. We got them all. We got small. Them. Yeah. And I like that final. Finally got something. Yeah. Yeah. We got one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got three. I need, double, I need double bucks. No, I mean with, with winning. Oh, with winning. winning. Yeah. 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 Board game uh, cafe. What was, your, what was your clue for that one? Because I, I was like, struggling with that one. Coffee. Oh, shops, yeah, small restaurant. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Y
Backwards um, play order. Rewind. Backwards play act four. Uh, what? Games. Oh, uh, uh, counterclockwise? Mm -hmm. Tweet. Bird? Twitter. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tom pays. Salary? Boss. Close. Salary, um, wages, um, paycheck, um, income. Yep. Um, let's see. You got three more words. Cruise drink. Mai Tai, um, uh, daiquiri, margarita, Jack and Coke, <laughs> cruise drink, Roy. Oh, oh, um, so, water, G fuel, soda, sweet tea, soda, Hello? sweet tea, tea, uh, iced tea, tea? Ice iced tea. tea. There we go. Woo! Oh, 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 Oh. It's like I'm staring at you. Counter, I was like, ah. Counterclockwise is tough. That, that was, was, that was my first guess. Yeah. I was like, I no, can't my say first clock. Yeah. I can't say, like, yeah. you know, you have to find a Ooh. real interesting way around oh. counterclockwise. Yeah. Yeah. If you hadn't said games for me to put in that mic, so there's no way we, I would have gotten that. If we weren't sitting at this table, yeah, it would have yeah. been harder. Right, right, right. For sure. Oh, it's us now. Oh, us again. Okay. Here okay. we go. You're bidding first this time, right? Oh. I got counterclockwise. Kind of right What's away. more stressful, well, running done. this? Long oh, I can. I, you want me to start again? All the clues. For um, sure. Yeah, I can do that. I will say. Um, <laughs> you said I was stressful running that. Come on, it's an easy one. <laughs> I'll say really easy. fifteen. Whoa. Because you'd be excited to move it. Because you're like, yes. What's what's about fail. What? Fail. 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 Well, you got to mix the lemonade. What is that called? Oh, really? point it to Roy. You can't do that. What? You can't point to someone. I did say Roy eventually. Yeah. Mm. Roy, did I think? Was just straight up cheating. Oh, that's cheating. And the whole game is about it. Sorry, it's going to take four of your cards. So who said what? Man? I'm at eleven. Yeah. She's deciding whether oh, she's going to have a ten. Yes, I'm ten. definitely declaring cheating. All right, you can have it for ten. <laughs> okay, come okay, on, Mike. Way to you drive her down. down. Yeah. Yeah, way to drive her down. You said you didn't like giving the clues. I don't. Sure. I'll take the card. I don't no. have to feel under stress. Okay. Okay, ready? here we go. Yes. Set, go. Sewing thumb. Needle, thimble. Oh, a thimble. Yes. Not fat. Thin. Thin. Skinny. Sk slim. Slim. Best. Worst. Buy. Um, better. Uh, man. Uh, groomsman. Um, best. Best, uh, Best man. Friend. Best friend. Lose. Win. Return. Computer. Two more. Enter. Yes. That's it? That's it! Yeah. Oh, I did it! I did it! Uh, I did it. Was I was it was good. It was good. I was, I was considering going down because I would have been like, I would have said, hey, You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> there were two that I knew I could do I with win. one word. Wow. Yes, we win. So yeah. it was we... close. It was is really it, close. Is it return or enter? Uh, I'm like, I can't even. What is it? It's enter now. It's enter. Return. Return. Yeah, yeah, I used to be return, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to go with exit. <gasps> is that clue? You know I'm glad you were on the wave like there. Because return, I was thinking like that. I'll tell you the word that was. I'm like, I'll enter key. The word I thought would be the biggest slip up, but you got it was slim. I got it, man. Jim, baby. Well, Jim or Jim. I was trying to do the best. When you said Steph, best, well, I, 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 blank had, Jim. Yeah. I had best, <laughs> I, was, I was like blank, like best well, for blank, because yeah. we were only like, five oh, words. I was trying to say that word. For, for, mm. for friend, I would have gone enemy. Ooh, you had yeah, I would have gone blank Jim. Uh, yeah. I, gotta tell you, I don't think you realize how close this game is. Close. Six Where to we six. Woo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, next? You guys are next. Yep. Oh. Bring it. Is this the last round? Are we doing this? Okay. Probably go around one more time and yeah, that's it. I think this is, all right, final round. Boy. Three cards, tiebreaker. Three cards, three words. Um, oh. 23. Oh. 15. Well, we're yeah, 20, 23. Yeah, we're 24. Oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> Just throw out little words. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say uh, 20. 20. You guys give words for us. 19. Oh, yes, 19. <laughs> That would be interesting if it's two people giving clues and you can only say one word at a time. 
Oh, mm. like three headed opera singer kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can only say one, and then I have to wait on you to say something before I say 17. another clue. Oh, Ooh, seventeen. All right, right. You got it. You ready, right. Freddy? Right. Are you ready, um, Freddy? We got this. We'll Light it up. Has left. Um, um. DVD remove. Eject. Eject. Um. <laughs> stomach. Spleen. Um, Acid. Full. Organ. Um. Stomach. Ulcer, um, belly. belly, oh, belly, tummy, belly um, gut, yeah, um, innards, um, rotten, spoiled, um, merry-go-round, carousel. carousel, you got a lot of words, Roy, so. um, old lonely man, widow, uh, Widower. no, uh, hermit, <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, Woo. Nice. That's nice, man. Again, the words. You gotta just sometimes burn through those. You yeah. did it. Nicely done. You did that. Nicely done. Yeah. I'm proud of you. All right. Six, two, also, so I don't like time. what you think of hermits. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking crab. I was thinking crab. <laughs> was like, crab. Mm. All right. But also, mmm, crab. I mean, when oh. I had a ton of words, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna just crab? say a bunch of small, things. Right? Right. I don't think you need a hermit. You can crab. eat anything if you're brave. Uh, sure, you can. I can eat this chair. New stretch goal. You cannot, actually. I've tried and it's not. Oh. Europe. Oh, I'm first? Yeah. Okay, I'll say uh, 22. 20. I will say 18. Mm. 17. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I will say 16. Take it. Take oh. it? Okay, okay, here we go. Don't mess right. up. All right, are you controlling the thing, Wendy? Yes, I am. <sighs> okay. Go. Breakfast. Club. Food. You should move the one over for breakfast. Cereal. Yes. Oh. Immaculate. Clean. Conception. Move it. <laughs> Flawless. Perfect. Diamond. Perfect. Werewolf bullet. Silver. Yes. Retrieve. Dog, golden, um, bring back, uh, football, um, Return, fetch. fetch. Fetch, okay. Yes. Memorable. Remarkable, uh, memorable, me um. memorable picture. You have plenty of words. Yeah. Um, this is the one I did. Song. Epic. Titled this. Memories. No, you said that. Memorable, memorable. Song title of this. Um, Times getting there. Ghost. Um, crap. Um, a doo doo. Wow. That is the what one is word it? I couldn't think of anything, so I gave you the card. It's unforgettable. Oh, oh man. Nat King Cole song. One. I don't know who sang it. Unforgettable. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the I wouldn't have got that anyway. I no. didn't know who sang it, so. Yeah. Wow. Oh. If you had given that clue, I would have. We got all the other ones, though. Well, that actually Ooh. is the game, because oh, okay. you guys, we cannot win for one more card. You guys have eight, we have six. Oh, that's true. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, so. Tell oh. the team! Good <laughs> job. Unforgettable. We won it by yeah, default. Yeah. No, it was good bidding on my part, because I knew I was not going to get that word. <laughs> I figured they were all so easy, I, th I thought I might sometimes get a word. Sometimes even... I was just staring at the rest. Like, like no, the rest were no. easy, oh, easy. Sometimes even if you know like you really can't do it, it's like, let me Go make sure that. I get a few yeah. less yeah. words. Unless somebody yeah, backs like, off, though. like, I'm not doing it. Right. Okay. So. You're risking it, yeah. yeah. But you have to feel a little bit confident when you're being like, oh, I yeah, can't, this I can't think of another clue. Unforgettable. Oh, it's just the uh, the people. The first yeah, get out of here, Roy. Get out of here. Yeah. So, so just as a heads up, everyone, here's what's uh, going on now. We're gonna go to a few more contributors. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go to Doug and Doug in just a moment. Come back at one o'clock to find out the nominations for the 2021 Di Best of the Year Dice Tower Awards. I'm mm -hmm. pulling for Raw. For Raw. Mm -hmm. They just came Ryan Ra 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 Raw. That's new, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but yeah, the actual awards will be announced yeah. during our Summer Spectacular, right. but these are the nominations. There will be five in each category, ten for the winner of the Game of the Year. So this is 25 words or less based on the... Um, based on the TV show, Tom, the popular television the TV show. show. <laughs> Which is also, uh, this game, isn't this game designed by, who is the designer? Is this Richard Garfield? No, no, no. no, this is... 
No, 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 I'm not the designer. She's the host of the show. No, I right. understand that. I thought maybe it said on the cover. Even. Meredith Vieira designed the game. No, okay. I don't think so. I don't know who it is. Yeah. It's designed by the game where every word counts. All right. That's right. Well, anyway, we'll see y'all soon. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Roy Kennedy. I'm Camilla Clyghorn. I'm confused. I'm Mike Delicia. I'm Z Garcia. And I'm Wendy Yee. Part of the winners. <laughs>
what they call planting, which is where you draw cards. Gotcha. Okay. So, so it's really and very simple. I draw. Well, you draw eight. one first. Okay. And you decide. Look at that and decide. Okay. Do you want to keep that in your private garden so we can't get it, or do you want to put it in the public garden because the next card is going to go in the opposite place, and gotcha. you, don't, you don't know what it is. Gotcha. Yet. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm going to do the opposite of what mom did. Okay, so the rosemary goes in the community garden, and this one has to go in your private garden. It goes face up. Bay. Everybody can see it. Bay. It's got some bay. Once again, I can't pot anything, so... I could not tell you from memory what bay actually tastes like. Well, we put it in bay stew. Leaves. Yeah, so bay leaves. leaves that, yeah. yeah. I understand. You don't want to eat it by itself. I, well, I understand <laughs> that. I was going to say, I can't define it by its own name as far as, like, recalling right. it. Can you see those? We can move them up a little yep. bit. So there's two time, one rosemary. Actually, we can stack these so we know since there it's the go. same. Save a little table I space. I know it's called rosemary. Mm. All right. Looks like some saffron. Saffron. I'm just wild about saffron. Are you? Well, there's a song. Oh. It's an old song. Never mind. Well, I, f I figured. I figured as much. Everything is a song, right? Chive. You know what we'll do, too, is we'll move these a little closer to yeah. you. So you don't have to reach quite so far. Okay. I'm gonna wow. keep the chive. I love chives. Yep. Tarragon. Oh, goodness. All right. Tarragoni. What? Tarragoni. Nothing. Is that I'm another just... song reference? No, it's an Everybody Loves Raymond reference. Oh, that show okay. that's yes. been on reruns for 20 Absolutely, years? Absolutely, because it's that good. See, so this is my gaming life. This is what I have, so. No, it's pretty great. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't you? And uh, he's very grateful. I am very grateful for them. All right, so I still, uh, I could pot that. I'm not going to. It's a little early, I think. So I'll look at this. Oh, okay, I will... I'm going to put that in the community garden. This run goes to myself. And it is back to Nancy. Hmm. All right. Uh. Hey. Tarragon. Oh, sorry. Whoop. That's all right. Pretty close. Okay. All right. Back Let's to see. Douglas the third. Boop. Rosemary. In time. It seems. Just put so it. I just choose wherever. Put it wherever, because the next one's going in the other spot. Um. Well, I guess since everything's matching here, I'll just add to it, because that's my game logic. Sage. Okay. No parsley yet. Nope. All right. Well, I'm still not gonna pot yet. So, I am going. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to put that there, hmm. and I'm going to put this here, lavender. All right. Good Getting grief. The... All right. Okay, there's that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you. Yeah. Yes. I. You could pot if you want to, okay. or you can keep drawing. Um... I would say, well, no, actually, remember I, this one can only go in the jar, so that's true. That's true. You know, that's not going to be useful yeah. for your other. Uh, it doesn't planters. matter what order, it, like, you know, if I put, yeah, put okay. any order you want. So I might as well do that then. So how do I just? Well, okay, I should mention this. Once you pot, you're done with that container. So you can't put that in there and then later on add to it. Oh, so no, I don't want so, to do that. Right, right. Okay, never mind. I didn't think you would, so. Uh, but I, have, I, I have played this like a few times, but it's been a very long, long time, time ago. Yeah, I just thought I better remind you about that because, okay. yeah, you don't normally want to put just one okay. card in there. Gotcha. I have a question about have a question. this particular one because I can't remember. So, do you have to have, when you put three cards in here, do they have to be all three different numbers or no. can they be two of the same numbers? They can be two of the same number, but just you won't cards. get the biscuit because gotcha. you're the best combination. Right. Of gotcha. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Whoosh. Bowl. Well, I'm going to keep that. And rosemary. Oh, my goodness. Good heavens. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Hey, Mom, what's your favorite cooking herb? Rosemary. Oh, you're done, right? Yes, yeah, you are. I'll just straighten it. Still not going to pot. So, I'm going to take. 
I, I feel like <laughs> I'm not doing well. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, goodness gracious. Let's and when this deck runs out, by the way, game's over. And it's going down pretty quick. Hmm. I'm saying the play time on here says 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, I'm taking especially long because I'm still, like, relearning it. But to a group that, like, has it down, it'll fly by. It's still not going to take too long. Yeah. Okay, and I can take whatever I want from Anything here. Anything from the community garden you want. And when I take that, can I combine it with this to pot? Absolutely. Okay. And how is the quantity? So you want the tear gun? Yep. You want all of them? No, just, just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. One tear gun. And one of each. One. Oh, you want, you're taking one of each, yep. all right. So you can take as many you, cards from Now, the you can't one? put that in, the, if you're doing that in the right, okay. separate one, you can't because that's a special herb, but yeah. So I'm going to take these. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's not bad. So you're putting and five and you're going to tuck them underneath the uh, yeah. the planter box. Right. So that's going to be worth eight points for you at mm -hmm. the end of the game. So that's yeah. not bad. Okay, so you can take as many cards from here as you want. Absolutely. You can take doubles, triples. Absolutely. Theoretically, I could take all of this if I wanted yep. to. Yep, if you can use them all. Yep. Okay, okay, I got you. Uh, my turn again? Yep. Watch out. Bay! Again. What do you want? I'm gonna put it here again. And. Mm. Saffron! Okay, let me think Let's here. Pick up some. All right. Uh, you have to pot first, so I am going to. I'm going to go ahead and pot some pears because I've got two tarragon. Mm -hmm. I can get two rosemary. I uh, can't put those in the regular pot, so I can get two saffron. And I've got two lavender here, so that's going to be uh, eight cards. And that's going to go in this one, which takes the pears. So at the end of the game, this is going to be worth 14 points for me. And now I'm still going to draw my cards. Um, I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put some lavender back here. I just got rid of some lavender. <clears throat> so, Dad, what's your favorite cooking herb? Hmm. You have to look at the, the I know. options, don't you? Um, it's really tough. I do like okay. rosemary and thyme. So, I. Uh, and parsley and sage. And parsley and sage. <laughs> okay, so I just drew mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I can take from here. Nope. No, because I can't. You have to pot first. Pot. Oh, dang it! Yeah. Ooh. You're not messed up, partner. Okay, never mind. All right. So, see, they they came up with that on purpose. So mm -hmm. you have to just, yeah, I you know. get that. I don't like it, but oh, I get no. it. Sage. I'm gonna put it on. Here. Lavender. Mm. I bet you you guys can't guess my favorite herb, herb for cooking. Your favorite, and I didn't ask. I should have asked. What is your favorite herb for kick, for, for for cooking? Um, how should I guess? <laughs> I just want to see what you come up with. It's not rosemary. Well, you mentioned chives earlier, but mm -hmm. I don't use that much for cooking seasoning stuff yeah. not when i'm cooking you can take your turn while we're doing after i'm cooking right. is it your turn yeah okay i'm gonna um, actually pot okay lavender dill tarragon sage rosemary bay that's one two three four five six separate different types of herbs which is going to be worth 12 points okay well, I'm going to take this, and I got one, two, three. How did that? I did not even see it. Where the? <laughs> did you have? You had the one, huh? I had. Uh, yeah, I got the one at my last draw. I already it was had in your the personal tort. garden. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Got the biscuit. You get the biscuit. That's I that's big in this biscuit. game. That's uh, that will definitely help. Okay. Okay. Now, now you draw. I'm going to draw. Okay. Yeah. To you guys that might be watching and being like, Doug three. Oh, that's a, what, what, why aren't you doing? I'm just, I'm just spending time with my family, you know? You know, I'm not always here to win. Um, but it's always so it's your turn. All right, okay. so. So your favorite herb. <laughs> well, now we're just distracting him. Yeah. My favorite cooking herb is dill. Dill. Mm. I love, I love so the taste of first, dill. So 
do you want to pot anything first? Always check that first. Because once you draw, you can't do it that turn. You could, well. Uh, that's the thing. Nothing is like ready yet, you know? Let's... Yeah, but if you wait too long, game will be over. So it's up to you. I'm going to see if matching is. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep this mint and saffron, which goes over here. Has to go there, yep. Well, I have nothing to pot, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and plat. Um, sage goes there. Put some rosemary for the community. Okay, let's see. Lavender and saffron. <clears throat> Back to the table. Um, well, okay, so let me see something. That's called thinking. My version, anyways. Hmm? I said noisy thinking. Yeah. Gotta, gotta make something entertaining for the folks at home. It's true. Can't have them sitting in silence. Um, I'm going to put this here with my bay collection. Good show. Saffron. All right. Well, again, I've only got that. I'm looking for, well, I'm not going to say what I'm looking for. Hey, Mom. Yes. What's your least favorite herb? <sighs> Let me know in the comments. What's your least favorite herb? Um, hmm. Let me think here. Oh, it's so hard. I'll have to get back to you on that one. It's a toughie. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pot some plants. Okay. I'm going to take these two. That's and this. exactly what you should do. Yes. And you don't forget your mint over there. That's a one, so you nope, got a one. No, nope, no, nope. you can only put three, but these are worth higher points. Uh oh. Not worried about getting the biscuit now. You've already got that. That's true. So. I don't want your crusty biscuit. <laughs> Even with the garlic butter on it? Nope. No. There okay. you go. Now it's you're... been sitting out. Go Tarragon. Ahead and, go ahead and draw your cards now. I was wondering if you were going to do that. I was like. Because you could have done, well, you could have done one, two, three last turn, but waiting, you actually ended up with a little better score. All right. <sighs> so I've still got two left to pot. We're really getting low here. So I'm um, thinking, I'm um, thinking, should I wait another turn? <laughs> oh, I hate to only pot three. You've still got to pot your things. Yep. You're probably not going to go for saffron, though. Oh, this is a hard choice. How many cards are left? I'm going I'm to wait one more turn. All right, so we've got some dill and uh, I've got some sage. Uh, all right. Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but. Well, I'll take them so. So you're not going to pot anything? Mint. No, not okay. right now. I'm going to put the mint over there. Pushing our luck. We'll just start that down there. And Dill. Okay. All righty. Douglas the third, mm -hmm. if that is your real name. Uh, you tell me. Um, okay. I'm going to pot plants. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. 
I'm going to take just the process. I'm going to detect this. I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to take this. So we're going to do this, this, this. Oh, I can't put these anywhere else, can I? Okay, I'll leave that up then. Okay. okay. Yep. I'm correcting myself. And this, so I'll have four sets of two for yep. this card, for right? Correct. And there's nothing I wanted to do with that. You have saffron already? Yes. Yes, you do. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm just double checking myself because they kind of like all get to loss of a sea of like green leafy things. Uh, yep, it does. Except for the purple. Welcome to my world. Just the loss mm. of a sea of green, leaf, green leafy things. Yep. Okay. So that's going in here. Okay. Now you draw your cards. Okay. Go. I have so much ball Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pot this and then just two random things. Mm -hmm. Because I will get at least this one point extra for mm -hmm. going in there. In my glass jar, now I'll draw my cards. Uh, tarragon, I'm gonna put there and sage goes there. Okay, all right, okay. <clears throat> okay so I'll take these two and this one. So I've got two pair mm -hmm. to put in here, okay, and then I've got. And that. Uh. Okay. Well, we're like at the last one pretty much. Well, we actually we'll keep going until That's everybody's right. done everything they can do. Okay. But uh, yeah. Well, it stinks that I can't use that. I understand that that challenge now. Um. So I'm going to just do. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to try and put them in here. Okay. It's better than nothing. It Actually, is. four is not terrible at all. It's hmm, almost halfway. Yeah. It, it's a it's an odd number, so technically there's no... And you'll still draw all these last two cards. Yeah. But I will still get a turn. And have a golden. All right, so we can still plant. I am going to plant these three sage in here. Now it's your turn if you can plant. And then back to Douglas. You can plant. Yep. All right. Comes back to me. I cannot plant. I think yours are all I'm full. All yours are mm -hmm. all full. Yep. All right, so the way that we score these, here's, here's the way that the instructions say, and it seems to work real well. If you take the cards that are underneath, mm -hmm. and like in this case, I'm looking, I guess, see how many cards I have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Mm -hmm. Put this underneath with the edge of these cards right at the eight. So I know that this is eight cards. It's 14 points. I'll go ahead and score my next pile, and then I'll come back and add them all up. Just uh, go first here. I have 14 points plus 12 points, so that's 26, plus 10 points, makes it 36, plus 6 points, makes it 42, plus another point, 43, and this makes 44. So I have 44 points. You want to do yours? Okay, sure. Let's see, I got 4 cards, so that's 8 points, plus, hold on, 5. Oh, 8 points, plus 8 points is 16. Plus 10 points is 26, plus 6 points is 32. 6 plus 7, 9, 12. 37, 40, okay, 40, 
41, 42 plus 5 is 47. Okay. All right. So 6, 6 is 12, or 46. 46, 44, and? 47. 47. Wow. Very, very close. Yep. Well, that makes Plant Lady the winner. Yay! I mean, boo. <laughs> All right. So, well, that's herbaceous. So I hope that you enjoyed watching our little playthrough of our springtime game. And uh, we hope we'll see you again real soon. If you'd like to check out our personal channel, it is Doug and Doug Gaming on YouTube. And maybe we'll see you around there as well. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. I'm B, and this is my top 10 games for young families. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that this game list is going to provide you with the next great game to bring to your table with your family. Now, I'm one of those lucky gaming parents whose kids are just as obsessed with the hobby as I am, and I know I'm lucky and I'm super grateful for it, and I really do understand that's not the case for everybody or every family. A lot of these games in my list are actually cooperative games, and that's because kids love playing cooperatively and they love winning together. All for one and one for all sort of thing, you know? So if you are looking for a way to start your kids off into gaming, or if they're a little resistant to the gaming experience, I always recommend starting cooperatively. My top 10 isn't a top 10 kids games though, so I know that some of these games are going to be in the kids game category as well, but I'm focusing on this experience that they provide for families rather than just for children. So sure, your kids are gonna love these games, but will you love these games or will you as a family love these games? And I hope the answer to that is like my family and yes, you will. I really hope this list helps you find the next great game to bring to your table this spring. To start us off super strongly, at number 10 we have Monstrosity by Deep Water Games. So this game is for 3 to 8 players which I think is great in itself because it does open up uh, to a lot more families with that high number count. It's also language independent and it's just a really fun party style drawing game. It's uh, <laughs> It, there's nothing quite like monstrosity, I don't think. So in the game, you'll basically be drawing uh, witness, uh, drawing suspects. Sorry, um, a witness will be one player, and they will have a card that only they know um, what it looks like. And in the in the base rules, you will have 20 seconds to memorize that card. You'll then have to place it face down, and you'll then have two minutes to describe the card to the other players, who will then be drawing the suspect as best they can based on your descriptions. They can ask questions um, and you're going to try and get them to draw it as close as possible as you can to your card. Now when we play it with our kids we don't have the timers in, in the game because I know it's such an important part of the game to have those timers. It really does create that manic tension and chaos um, that party games really really thrive on but for us the focus is really on getting the kids to learn to communicate effectively um, and more importantly, to listen properly. From the first game through to the sixth game, we saw such a huge improvement, especially between my two kids, in the way that they communicated with each other. So it started out with, you know, there was a lot of frustration there, like, uh, you said the head was circle, but now you're saying it's a square. And then you saw as they played it more and more, they were finding ways to communicate better. So instead of saying it's a circle and one of them drawing a circle, they would say, well, is it a long circle or is it a small circle? Is it a large circle? And they were really starting to figure out how to ask those questions, how to engage with each other. Um, and honestly, for such a creepy, kooky looking game, that was beautiful. I thought that was really beautiful. That is one of the reasons why I recommend this for young families because it is teaching you to communicate in a game, like through a game. Like you don't even know that you're learning this important life skill because you're having so much fun drawing monsters. It's so cool. So if you're looking for that kind of experience with your family, then Monstrosity might be for you. Our number nine is a game that I would not leave off this list. Outfoxed by Game Right Game. In Outfoxed, you'll be playing as detectives going around this little town trying to figure out who stole the pie this time, and it's always some crazily dressed fox. Now, while you're doing that, the fox is moving down a pathway and trying to escape to the foxhole. You'll determine all of this by rolling three dice 
um, each turn. So you will decide, I want to go searching this time, which means you want to go looking for clues, and you'll roll the dice and you'll need to return paw prints. So every time you roll, you can keep as many dice as you want, at least one dice, and then you can roll three times, basically. Now, if you want to reveal a suspect, you have to do the opposite and roll three eyes instead. And if you don't get the three that you need, that's when the fox moves and it moves three spaces along the track. So it adds that little bit of tension and a little bit of racing element. So there is a bit of a time crunch on this game, which I think turns up the complexity there just enough to make it really fun for adults as well because you do really feel like you're working as a team against the clock or against the fox. So the other cool thing about this game is its, um, its clue system. So this is a magic evidence scanner and basically they have done some, some sort of magic to these cards and these clues. I don't understand how it works where they've color coded the clues with the suspects with the thief. It is very, very clever. It's very unique and I've not seen it done before. And I do think that this little system here is probably one of the reasons why it's the mo one of the more popular children's games. But I think the main reason that this is my re one of my recommendations for a top family game for young families is because it is very accessible. There is no reading involved. It is very easy to set up. The rules are very simple. I think if you're looking for a good whodunit game, if you're looking for an entry level into gaming with your family, then you should check out Outfoxed. Dragonwood by Gameright Games is our number eight game on the list. So in Dragonwood, you are going to be entering the Dragonwood. Um, it is a set collection card and dice game, and you will be trying to collect creature cards for points. There's also some event cards, and there are some uh, ability cards, like uh, potions, unicorns, things like that, which give you extra like added bonuses to your roll, or lets you re-roll things and stuff like that. Um, and that's where some reading comes becomes involved. And so if you're playing with the very young kids, you modify that out, don't use those cards. It doesn't really affect the game at all. We still have a very, very good time just playing without those cards. And you'll be basically collecting sets of numbered cards. You'll be collecting sets of colored cards. You'll be collecting sets of runs. So one, two, three, four. Um, and I think that is a very cool thing that how it introduced kids to so many different ways of set collection. The dice come into it because if you play three blue cards, you can roll three dice to try to capture that creature. The creatures have different toughness levels and, and um, numbers that you're going to need to be able to roll in order to capture them. So it's definitely this cool balance of, um, you know, you want to get some of the weaker creatures because they will give you one point each. And if you had, say, 10 one point creatures and one person gets a a 13 point dragon or something that 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 uh, score is very very tight and I actually have seen some uh, some games end where the people who win the dragons who are the you know, ultimate prize of Dragonwood it's called Dragonwood they actually don't win because somebody else had collected a bunch of weaker creatures along the way so you can save your cards up for that or you can use a different so there's def definitely a bunch of different strategies here which I think again is what makes it good for those young families because you want a game that that are sort of um, accommodates a lot of different thinking styles, a lot of different strategy, a lot of different experience levels and this game really does um, hit that brief there. It is very accessible and I don't think that this is one of those games that's going to overwhelm um, people or children at least to play. So if you're looking for a very very cool, very 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 cool theme set collection, dice rolling adventure through a dragon creature filled wood, then I recommend that you check out Dragonwood. Our number seven is Loop and Louie, which is this crazy classic box of chaotic fun, madness, all the rest of it. It's a game by Let's Play Games. It's been revived. Um, it is a game that I've been told by a lot of adults. They play it as kids. They're like, oh, I played that with my family. It was so much fun. And I didn't play it as a kid, but it makes me super happy to think that my kids are going to be that grown up in a few years. Just the idea that my kids are going to have gaming memories when they're adults is so cool to me. It's one of my favorite things and it's one of the reasons why I do this, why I come online and I talk about kids and family games because uh, I just want more people to be able to experience that and to be able to have those memories in their lives because to me, they're the most precious ones that I have. So let's get into this game. What is it? It is... It is crazy. I mean, it's motorized. You've got this guy in his little plane. He's going to fly around. He's going to try and knock your chickens down out of your coop. I think the storyline is that he's stealing them. But to be honest, I've never really read that much into the storyline because we're too busy playing because you just need to get straight into this game and start smashing that hammer. <laughs> I have taken this game to kindergartens, um, to schools for children to play. I used to run a volunteer uh, board game club. So I have tried this with 
hundreds of kids and it is always, always a hit. Um, and it's always surprising with what they're learning with the game too because even though it seems like this silly mad game where you're just uh, hitting things, you are also are learning timing. So you need to be patient to that timing to hit it properly. And you also can't hit it too hard because you knock your own chickens down. So it's teaching them a bit of self-restraint too. And I'll tell you what, teaching a three-year-old self-restraint when it comes to this game, it is tricky, but they do get it because they start to become possessive of those chickens. Like, I mean, they're crazy about their chickens and they are sitting there really lightly tapping the handle by the end of the fifth round or something. And it's very, very cool to watch that adapt and watch them do that. This game is a family game. I mean, it is just perfect. There is no real you know, strategy involved, you know, like you might figure out how to tap it a certain way to get it to bounce into the next person's chicken, sure. But Louie moves in mysterious ways. Sometimes he is going to fly away in the ways that he's never moved before. So you can't really get too hooked on strategy in this game. It's just fun and it's super, super fast. You can play 10 rounds of this in two minutes. Like it just, it just goes so fast. It is going to allow anyone to come around the table to play together and to really have a great time just stealing each other's chickens, I guess. So if you're looking for a game that is going to help you create memorable experiences with your family in a very fun, very, very silly way, Loop and Louie might be the game for you. Our number six is Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters by Mattel. It's just a really fun cooperative game where you're adventuring through a house that's on the cusp of being haunted and you need to try and get the treasures out and get rid of those ghosts before it's overrun. The fun part about this cooperative game is that it's not just cooperative in the sense of you have a shared goal, but your success in that is also hinges on very effective cooperative play. So as you move through the house, if you enter a room with a ghost, you may roll one dice. Now, your chance of you rolling a, a ghost and being able to eliminate the ghost from the room are not that high. However, if a second hero enters the room, they may roll two dice to try and scare that ghost away. And that does increase your odds. This is extremely important when you get closer to these haunts entering rooms because they're harder to get rid of. So it wants you to move through the house not splitting off to go and find the treasures as quickly as you can, but moving together through the house to try and clear the rooms, get the treasures and get back out again. Your little characters can carry their treasures in these adorable little backpacks, which I think is very fun. They can carry one treasure at a time as they move through the house. Now, another cool element of this game is that the ghosts and the haunts are constantly respawning. So unless you roll a six on the die, any other number will also mean you have to place a new ghost into the building. You'll do this by drawing a car from the deck. It will have a letter on it. You find the corresponding room letter and place a ghost there. If that room is already at ghost capacity, then a haunt emerges. And when all haunts are on the board, you're going to lose. That's why it's really important to be moving together through the house to get rid of those ghosts along your way and not just focusing on the gold. <laughs> so I think for me, that's why this game is so good for young families because not only is it cooperative, it has very simple gameplay, it has a very fun theme, its components are just adorable, but it also encourages you and really kind of forces you to work very effectively as a team, which I think is really cool for those young families to get into. I don't know if you're a fan of Ghostbusters or you're looking for a ghouly Halloween game, but your kids are young, I recommend you take a look at Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters. <laughs> So our number five is Catapult Feud and all the many expansions that it comes with. I straight away from the get-go went all in with this game. In Catapult Feud, you are, as you can imagine, using catapults. Um, you'll be sitting across the room from the other team and you'll be building your own castles with these cool little plastic, quite heavy duty blocks and then placing your little soldiers around the castle in ways that are dictated by a set of rules if you want or just completely free creation if you prefer that, which is what we do prefer. Now there are also some cards which will help allocate actions or dictate what you can do on your turn or ways that you can block other players on their turns, um, which does bring it into that tabletopy world. However, I'm going to be really honest with you, we've never played with the cards because we just have a lot of fun setting up our castles and knocking each other's castles down because at the core of it, what you want to be doing, you just want to be destroying things and building them up again and then destroying them again. And this is a very... Um, 
a, a very big box of toy basically <laughs> and um, and it's just so much fun so why I recommend this as a game for young families is is really that it is a toy in a box on the table that you can play with your family as a gaming experience and I think that's really really cool so if you're looking for a way to play with your kids catapult feud might be the game for you <laughs> Our number four game is Detective Charlie by Loki Kids. Now this game is a whodunit game again, it's cooperative but it's also got a campaign sort of thing where you're following a narrative storyline through this little city of cute furry animals that can talk and commit crimes apparently. But uh, the crimes are really cutesy and they're never violent, they're never actually a threatening crime. It's always silly and funny and they always have a really sweet reason for having done it. Now, in this game, you're going to play as Charlie, who is our detective kitty cat, who will be moving around the town, uncovering clues and trying to figure out who our culprit is for each mystery. You'll be doing this through rolling a dice, which will allow you to move a certain amount of spaces, or it will uh, increase the clock time because Charlie wants to have fixed the, the uh, mystery and then be back to the station by tea time, and you will score differently based on whether you get back then or not. Now we're working together to do this, and we are working together to figure out the crime. So there's no competition there, which I think is is um, important with these uh, deduction games with little kids, because once you start adding that pressure on there of it, of it being competitive, um, yeah, yeah, it can it it can become a game that I wouldn't recommend basically. So. Detective Charlie does this really well. Now I think the clue system in this game is really smart. So you'll be uncovering clues, but the order in which you uncover them matter as well because they all link together. So you might get a clue that you don't quite understand because you haven't um, uncovered a previous clue that will give you the context for that. So I think that's really cool. As far as replayability of this game goes, I didn't think that it would have a very high replayability because the, the culprits never change. And so once you've completed those six missions, you know what's going on. And I thought you will have to leave this one on the shelf for a year's time and then before we can bring it back. But the kids just love to replay it and replay it and replay it. In fact, it was our most played game last year, which is crazy because we've played a lot of games. We've played a lot of games more than once. But this was the most played game because they just love playing it over and over. They love the clue system. They love the finding. They love trying to logic it out, whether they remember the culprit or not. I think they just love the journey which is really fun and, and unique so I think for young families I recommend this game because it's a simple gameplay because of its cute little world that you're living in because of the clue system because of the narrative system and I think that it's a game that most families could pick up and get really into and because it does have that limit of six levels it's not too much of a time investment for a parent who might be busy or a family who might not play that often so if you're looking for a whodunit game with a bit of a twist Detective Charlie might be for you. It's time to get into the top three now, and we're starting off at number three, The Adventures of Robin Hood by Cosmos Games. Now, hear me out. I know this game is completely different to the other games I've been talking about so far. It is definitely very far from the children um, category of games, which the other ones have generally fallen into as well. But... <laughs> This game is number three for a reason. This, as a family game, to me, even with young, young players, like young families, is just an amazing experience because that's really what I'm basing a lot of these recommendations on. It is an, the experience of it to be played as a family and Robin Hood is, is one of the best, one of the best we've had. So for a little bit of context, the reason why I did start playing this game with four and five year olds, although it's rated as age 10 plus, was completely coincidental. My husband and I were playing it together, just the two of us, we're playing the introduction um, level, which is kind of like a tutorial. And my kids who were supposed to be sleeping at the time, but of course weren't, came out, they saw us playing. They know the story of Robin Hood because they've seen the Disney movie. Um, and they were really interested in these little meeples and the way that they move because the movement in this game is very unique. The kids Kids asked if they could um, do the movement for us. They asked if they could move our characters and I said, you know what, sure, why not? It was a little finicky for them with a little bit of guidance. They got it and they started to do really well at it. They got invested in the storyline because this is our beautiful campaign book. Um, so as my husband was reading it, he was editing out anything that was a bit too mature because it is rated for ages 10 plus and Robin Hood can be a bit of a... Um, uh, a bit of a brutal storyline so he was editing that stuff out um, so that worked really well and they got really really invested and when we won that tutorial level they were up on the table yahooing and they were so excited and I thought this is super really like this is super super great and they straight away said can we do your movement next time you play as well so we agreed and, and of course he came around to next time and when they sat down at the table to do our movement I thought you know what why are we doing this give them their own characters 
give them their own characters because I'd love to see the way that they play this game. I'd love to see the way that they think about things. I'd love to see what they can do and we play as a family unit. We are Robin Hood and his merry men. He needs a team. Let's have our team. Here they are. They're ready and able. And so we played it together and I am so, so, so glad that we did because it is some of the most beautiful and I mean that beautiful memories that we have as a family is playing Robin Hood together. We called it Robin Hood Nights. And for six weeks, every Friday night, we would have a Robin Hood night where we played Robin Hood together. We had some snacks, we stayed up late and we, we created our own Robin Hood adventure and story. And it was just, it's just, yeah, it's just so, so amazing when you can have a game that doesn't just provide you with a strategical challenge or it doesn't, doesn't provide you with you know, a, a half an hour to switch your brain off or whatever it is you use gamings for, but it actually gives you a whole experience and memories. And yeah, I mean, that's that's what I really want in a game when it comes down to it. And Robin Hood provides that in buckets, you know, it pours it all over you. You are, you are having a full on experience with this game and it's an open world game too. So I think for me, that is one of the major reasons I would recommend this for young families is because it is very open world. It encourages, not only allows, but it encourages exploration. It encourages outside of the box thinking. Um, it wants you to, to think of wild ways to complete tasks. I mean, it does not hold your hand. It says, this is the ultimate goal. How you get there or whether you get there is up to you. And I thought it was just so fun to watch the kids try to logic out <laughs> logic out the whys of they the whys of why they should do something or the whys of why they should go first or why they should get that extra turn and that to me was one of the the most fun parts of the experience was just hearing everyone's thoughts and ideas bouncing off each other um and seeing the different thing ways that the kids would do things that i would never think to do things and you know some of them were more effective than the way that i would i would do something because their minds work in a different way they see games in a different way um and I thought that was really, really cool. So this game for young families, I think is actually actually perfect. Well, if the content is sometimes too mature and people might think that, you know, strategy wise, it's too mature. I actually think it's really, really perfect to get those fresh, crazy ideas into the mix um, and to help you progress through that storyline. So I thought that was really brilliant. And if you are looking for a game that you can experience fully with your family, where you can create memories and you can have a really cool adventure in Sherwood Forest, I would recommend checking out The Adventures of Robin Hood. Our number two game is Adventure Builder by Wider Path Games. Now, I am going to try to hold myself back from hyping and raving too much, but this is one of the newest games that we've received. This is only two weeks old in our collection, but it's already number two. I. I I didn't expect this. Um, I mean, I I have Starport, um, so this is the, the the big brother, but kind of little brother version of Adventure Builder. So these are RPG manuals for kids. Uh, it's a non-violent world where children explore adventures and they get comfortable with the role-playing world. Um, we've played this and we love this, um, but as a mainly tabletop gamer, I did find the um, the jump to playing this game really difficult personally because I <laughs> I like to have components on a table I like to have a very clear set of rules and a start and finish point because that's just the way that my mind has been trained thanks to tabletop games enter adventure builder which brings this and tabletop games and smushes them together in this absolutely perfect bridge between the two worlds of tabletop and roleplay games. You are playing as hero kids uh, or hero whatever really because it's up to you, it's a roleplay game. Um, you are given a base uh, selection of characters, you're given character sheets to fill out, you can allocate traits to your characters, you can equip them with items or pets or spells um, and you upgrade those as you go through your story. They have also given you preset stories that you can play through so uh, this is the really beautiful part about this game is that it it really does guide um, guide the guide so <laughs> they're not DMs in this game they're guides and you can really have as as little or as much imagination when you play this game as you like and it holds your hand through it and it's just 
It's so good, it's so well done. Um, so it gives you this deck of encounters to go through. So if, if you don't wanna make up this whole storyline because you're like me and your mind just goes blank when it comes to making up these kind of things, you have an encounter deck to help prompt you and to prompt your adventure. Or you can use the encounter deck completely and, and not make up any of your own story because it gives you pre-built narratives as well. So it's just like, it's the perfect introduction really for someone like me or, or others like me who are more into tabletop. If you want to get into role play games with your kids, start here because this game is seriously going to, it's, it's not only going to provide an adventure for you, but it also helps you slowly become more comfortable in that world. Because I will say from the first game that we played of this, I completely used the narrative they gave. I completely used the, the prescribed encounter decks. Um, we didn't really go off script. We didn't really go too far into actions or choices. We just sort of stuck very, very tightly to, to what was presented to us physically. But by the third game, I was creating my own encounter decks. I was going off, off uh, script for the narrative. I was, you know, I had prepared myself properly by this point. So I had read the narrative ahead. I had prepared a deck that I thought was going to suit that narrative. I got props, I got costumes, I'd figured out voices I was gonna do for characters. Like, and, I, and that's what I mean, like the, this game just really encourages and, and supports that sort of learning and that sort of um, playing. And I just, it's so unique. And I just really think that's very, very, very cool. And for someone who has been gaming for years, who has, uh, way too many games um, it's always nice when a game can surprise me and can be completely different from anything else I've ever played before and Adventure Builder just just really ticks those boxes in in such a in such a wonderful beautiful package I mean look at this look at this artwork it's just amazing that's throughout the game it's throughout the, the manuals uh, and then as a bonus you can combine the world of Starport so if you have this you know huge role play um, manuals as well you can combine these two worlds use elements from both and merge that together and then you just have hours and hours and hours and hours of, of fun ahead of you and your family so if I'm going to give you a complete recommendation on why this is great for young families if I haven't said enough it is the adaptability of this game it is the accessibility it is the low entry level for this game I feel like I feel fairly confident that someone who has no experience in role play games can get this game and they can, they can begin their adventure straight away. Read the instructions, begin your adventure, and that's it. You have opened up a whole new world of gaming for you and your family to enjoy. So if you're looking for a way not only to get your kids into tabletop gaming, but also into role play games, Adventure Builder might be the game for you. It's finally time to talk about our number one game for young families and that is The Quest Kids by Treasurefall Games. Now this game is a brilliant, brilliant introduction to dungeon crawlers. Do you ever think that you could crawl a dungeon with your children? I mean, a few years ago I would have said definitely not, but this game makes it possible in such a fun, such a child-friendly way. It is a non-violent game, so we are simply chasing away baddies, we are not defeating them, we are not hurting them, we're not hurting each other. In fact, it's semi-cooperative, so we're going to be scoring on our own, but we'll be helping each other through the dungeon. So how does that work? Well, we play as one of the hero kids, and we're going to be adventuring through Tolk's cave and defeating, sorry, chasing away baddies, collecting gems and treasure, and completing quests. Now, you're gonna be using ability cards to do these things. So if you encounter a baddie, you need to use the matching ability cards and they're different colors. So there's a little bit of set collection there. You're picking those up along the way and you'll use those cards to chase them away. If, however, you don't have enough cards, you might take one health damage or one of the other people playing in the dungeon can lend you an ability card from their, from their own hand. And if they do this, they get a kind kid card, which gives them an extra ability or perk as well. So not only does this game uh, encourage a kindness, it also, well, it rewards it. So it's a really cool incentive there to get kids to start thinking about working together and working a little bit strategically there too, because, you know, it's in their best interest to get rid of baddies as well, because if you clear the dungeon, then you all win. But if you don't, you're sort of, well, ugh, we didn't clear that dungeon. That's a little bit of an unsuccessful dungeon crawl, I'd say. 
So one of the things I love the most about the Quest Kids games is that it grows with your family. You might notice here I've got a secondary box. This is the first expansion that was released and it provides a full campaign which adds new components, which adds new gameplay, which adds new awesomeness into this already really fantastic base game. And then they've gone and created another expansion which I think is being released on Kickstarter this week called Big Bags of Tolk Cave. This is an expansion which adds again even more things. So you're getting a whole new gameplay system with some dice added which I'm going to be really really clear right now I think is a fantastic choice because when I think of Dungeon Crawler, I think of it having dice, and I'm thinking Arcadia Quest games like that. It also gives you some different abilities for your characters, it gives you some events, um, and it's just got its own narrative as well. So I think that's the coolest thing about the Quest Kids game. You can play just the base game and you can have so much fun with it, or you can add in some expansions and change things up. It's so variable, and that's what makes it really great for young families because it is going to grow with your family. This is not a game you're going to play once and then you're going to outgrow because it keeps growing too. I am so, so pleased that we've been given the opportunity to try the Quest Kids because honestly, it's number one for a reason. This is a game that I'm always excited to play. I'm always excited to talk about. I'm always excited to encourage other people to try. And if you are looking for a great dungeon crawler or a great way to get your kids into tabletop gaming, I cannot, I stress, I cannot recommend the Quest Kids enough. Happy gaming.